Sunday night at 9 p.m. It's time for the What the Hell Show with Private Drexel and Samarian. Join in on the conversation on the IRC on the Ranch Radio Channel and the Dell Net servers. And now here's Private Drexel. Holy crap, it's Sunday night, and our actual host is really late. And he's just opening the Dr. Pepper right You're now. You're weak. Weakness. Wait, you waiting for me? Yeah, huh? yeah being as it's just your fucking you. show, yeah, I we would have to wait for you. Anymore. I left for the summer, I came back, it's the Sumerian show with guests. <laughs> oh, this would be a backpedal. <laughs> yes, that would be a backpedal. No, it's just true. He has all this cool it's stuff. It's true. Well, well, Carson, it's true, Darcy. You gotta bring stuff to say. say you gotta, I, I work all I, week I have to some do topics. this show. You work... All five hey. hours a day. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, that's less than half of what I Get a microphone. You're off the pep team. You're off the pep team. Where'd you get it? You work a whole five hours a day. <laughs> it's it's exhausting. I work twice that. Uh huh. Uh huh. Whoa. Fuck. <laughs> a few people on the webcam saw that. Projectile vomit, man, just got covered. In Dr. Pepper. You know what? I didn't even mean it to pop. I just kind of went, ah, and it went, what? boom! <laughs> what happened? What? Was he shook up a Dr. Pepper and let Some... it launch. I threw a pepper at, uh, at, uh, this is Bob here. Um, I threw a pepper at Enki, and Enki failed to catch it, so he's off the pepper catching team. So I threw another pepper at him, and he caught that one. He, yeah, he caught, the, he caught that one in the tree an scar on his dick. and cried, and then, uh, then proceeded to threaten me with the broken can of pepper, which exploded... <laughs> Prematurely in his face, hey, and uh, of course right, sprayed, good, sprayed, good. Uh, sprayed projectile Drop down on it, all over Lord. the place. No, now his Enki is cleaning it up. High and mighty head of Drexel. <coughs> See, can you see it? You well, I well. Drexel gives high and mighty head. Ooh. <laughs> it's <laughs> what it's true. What? It's Sunday. There's Dr. Pepper on it's your TV Sunday. screen. Perhaps that should be wiped. Why? Why? Oh, oh, somebody's oh, dead. Dr. Pepper actually Tanky's touching dead. the screen. Tanky is dead. <laughs> oh, it's on his half. It's okay. And, <laughs> and Sumerian will kill Enki. Oh, yeah. What will promote Sumerian into an act of violence? Oh. Very few things. <laughs> Very few things. Promote you into an act of violence. Someone trying to take your CDs. That would, I think would promote you into an act of violence. Oh, careful. Careful, please. Premature a Jack you pepper. <laughs> <laughs> Premature Jack you pepper. That's exactly what happened. Well, everyone knows that Dr Pepper when they open it in a bottle. Everyone who's listening knows for a fact that when you open a Dr Pepper, you will crack it. It will go, and then you have to wait a few seconds because if you it tries to, open, to trick you, it, it, it goes. <laughs> and it comes up again. It waits. It Any waits other for pop you. pop explodes it's, instantly. It's like Dr. Draft. Pepper. It is. It is. It is. It's fooling you. It's back tricking draft. you. And people people who drink a uh, shitload drink? of it will know that you go, shh, shh, and you wait. It's totally flat. <laughs> and you go, There's no carbonation left in this Dr. Pepper. It all came out right there. <laughs> is something burning on the stove? Yep. Please eradicate it. It's Turn on the fan. Kidding. Sounds oh, like a hardware problem. <laughs> <laughs> so... Sounds like not quite as many people here as last week. Thank Yay! God. Thank God. Oh, we do have a lot of people here. <laughs> that was Funny. way too many. There was 15 I we people. I gummy leg and we save his Six. things for later. <laughs> 16 total. Ankle. We shan't eat the leg, Thompson. What happened Wow, to does ankle? that ankle liver look like four pegs of shit in a three-pound bag? Oh what? Show the ankle to the to the leg I'm cam. Gonna, I'm gonna put they don't really look that bad. Too. They're just uh, red. Uh, wow. Oh, I didn't see that part. What the hell did you do? Playing so you're army. playing BCR uh, rules football, which is uh, no rules. Uh, okay, we're on the range, like on the range. You're playing m- football on the range. On, <laughs> home, home on the range. <laughs> on the range. No, where they at shoot at night. Oh, uh, we're we were between the no home or two. Six hundred uh, meter uh, marks. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> this Anyways. would be the militia. Okay, carry on. <laughs> 
Anyways, oh my God. <laughs> we're playing uh, we're playing football, and it's dark, and it's not dark like wow, it's nighttime in the city, or wow, it's nighttime in the suburbs. It's dark. Wow, it's nighttime in the mountains, and there's like, no moon, and there's no stars. And it's because like it's dark. It's like pitch like dark. You to, see nothing. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, it's fantastic. There is no more fun. Okay, football sucks. I don't care what you Americans think. Football is the stupidest sport. Watching and playing. But playing football at nighttime, <laughs> yeah, baby, we, we tape glow sticks to the football. <laughs> this was uh, Sergeant Major Arden's <laughs> idea. This was the Such Sergeant Major's idea? Oh, yes. He is the coolest guy. He is so funny. Anyways, okay, I won't say his name anymore. That can be bad. <laughs> Just kidding. Anyways, uh, so we're running around. I got three touchdowns, and I was working on number four, and I twisted my ankle. Nasty. Nasty. You like you've got a golf ball stuck under your ankle. Well, yeah. uh, that's there to take away the swelling. <laughs> golf ball soaks up all the mucus and pus and, <laughs> and, and extra blood. But uh, nighttime right. football. Show it to the camera. Show it to the camera. Here, I'll, here. I'll, I'll man. No, I will do a commentary. Turn. Coming down, and we're zooming in. We're zooming turn in. Right. Turn to right. Turn to the right. Tell me when it takes a no, 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 no. Oh, it's got it. It's looking. Tell me when it takes a picture. A little flash in the bottom right-hand corner of the camera. Or can you see it? There. Just take a picture. Okay. Excellent. Everyone out there. That's the that's cares. what. Yeah, just take a look at the. Oh yeah, actually, most of them were. We were all full of steak and beer. Well, I wasn't, but. <laughs> Fuck you, Darcy. You were here. So who wants to man we the were. camera going around the room? You wouldn't believe the food we had. We had caterers. Caterers. There was a guy wow, in a, you think okay, you were you in know, You see that jacket <laughs> that you're wearing? Right. Only white. He was wearing one of those. And, how did he and we had... How would you like your eggs? <laughs> he had... Okay, we're starting at the beginning of the table. We get up for breakfast, and I'm expecting mush on a plate, which is what we... <laughs> normally get. We normally get in the field, right? Trackpad. Or getting, you know, the bags of food. <laughs> All right. Food in a bag. And uh, we look up, and there's danishes and <laughs> croissants and fruit salad. <laughs> and you're like, what the fuck? We're like, what's going on? And there's this guy. It's like, <laughs> we it's like a weird Pink Floyd video. There's waffles and <laughs> French toast and pancakes, sausages, bacon, scrambled eggs. And at the end, there he is. He's like, oh, would you like your eggs uh, over easy? Holy or? Monty Python sketch. <laughs> I was just going to say, it was like... This is in the army, okay, we're, right? We're, we're walking around in our green <laughs> with rifles. <laughs> and in the middle of this uh, forest, <laughs> there's this guy and food and, and like silver plates. You know? <laughs> Your tax dollars at work, folks. <laughs> no, but you know what the thing is? It was probably cheaper than giving us IMPs. Oh, yeah. Without IMPs doubt it was. are like 25 bucks each. Yeah, they're fucking brutal. You can feed everybody meal. steaks instead of IMPs. It's just rank. Anyways... But it was note. just like something in a Monty Python. Everybody oh. would point and laugh and think that it was very funny. Incidentally, but we got that for breakfast. We got it for supper. We had steak. And the desserts were crazy. Wow. This is like a big ad. Ah, uh, Gloom Bunny. Well, I didn't this eat was, meat. This I wasn't was there. Very non-standard. Hey, I wasn't Gloom there. Gloom Bunny. Hi. <laughs> but but it was, they were just sucking us in. Eh? It's like the first exercise of the year. So they're going, yeah, it's, you know, people have forgotten first hits what free. it's really like. And so... They bring them in there, and they start thinking, wow, maybe it was like this all year. <laughs> and so they'll come to the next exercise, right? It's time to go around the room. And we were just uh, and shooting on the range. Anyway, see so it's who's not like here. we had to be tactical. Yeah. Otherwise, we'd have, to get that guy. We'd, have to, we'd have to get that guy to get rid of his white We're going to have to fast forward through the tape for hours. Okay. And here we go. People. You're going to be on the camera. You suck. Sure. Okay. Bye. Time to go around the room and see who's here. Who's here tonight? It's, it's uh, we'll get on the First hey, of all, camera guy. on the camera guy <laughs> is, is nobody. Oh, there we go. Is Bob's on the camera, so do we have a good picture? Oh, that's good. A little too close. Back little up a bit. Close. Back up. There. Oh. You look like Jean-Luc Picard. There we like go. A big way. There we go. And there's... Make it so. Inky. Doctor, Doctor guy, the, the guy who ran, runs uh, Rant TV. www.ranttv.com. Yeah. Kitchen <laughs> light person. I'm fucking cooking. Look hey, out. Hey, buddy. I'm single. <laughs> <laughs> look how far my oh microphone my goes. I am elite. Okay, next we've got Projectile don't, Vomit don't, Man. Two hundred percent sexy Projectile Vomit Man. Very, Say hi. Very good shot. 
That's him on a good day. That's really nice. And over here we've got the dark one. Say hi. There's a smile. Hello. Look to the camera. Hey, <laughs> Closer in. There we go. No, not too close. Not that close. Duh. The tooth. Go for the tooth. Oh, there's wetness all over the floor. Oh, my God. And then we've got... The an, person an, who's... The well, nameless that's to person. be announced. Can't take the nameless one because somebody already has that name. Somebody actually has... The nameless one. He mm. listens from time to time. Does he? It's Sean K. And uh, we're having a little contest tonight. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to talk name about this. Sean K. The Man. Name Sean K. The Man. So you can come up with names for him. Just look at his face. You can see it on the webcam. And I'm sure... Matt's I have it. I have it. Will be I have it. What do you have? We'll what? just call him Bitch. Bitch. Oh. Hey, that's a really great <laughs> idea. Oh, you, you didn't Wait, big fat white guy. Big fat white guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think so. Who's that? The only, one who has, is... the only one who actually has a really solid right to Hi. suggest a name for me would be Gloom Bunny, because Gloom Bunny put up a lot of shit for Aaron. me last week. She didn't come up with a, good, a cool name. It's just Aaron. Aaron and rocks. Like, like... <laughs> Argumentative Aaron. You rock. Argumentative error. Thank you. Okay. Are you on no, the? Yeah, I think he's wrong. on the camera. I was right. I that. And I next over is Drexel. Hi, Drex. Wait. He's got to get in sexy pose with the Dr. Pepper. We're fully sponsored by Dr. Pepper. Or we sponsor them. We give them money. They should give us money for promoting them, but they give us. We have to pay. Oh, look at that leg. Oh. Jack, well, also I, zoom up am on I the face too. In the mic? They can't hear you. When you as long as you don't try to drink out of the mic. I can do both at once. Oh, it's the Dr. Whoa. Pepper effect. <laughs> and on the... Oh, I'm here too. Hi, it's Sumerian. Look at that great hairstyle. Look at that new, <laughs> new hairstyle. This they is the new hairstyle for Sumerian. Everyone has to okay, say what Bob's they think of the, look the Look at the hairstyle, everyone. Tell me when it takes a picture. And it has not taken a picture yet. It is still waiting to it's take a picture. Make like two okay, not, we just took a picture when you looked away. Okay, no, it didn't. It's got an exclamation mark. They'll see it. They'll see it. They'll see it. And we've got Bob from Peru. And okay, <laughs> Mr. Camera Hog, Bob from Peru. And we'll just yeah, that's good enough. Lots, and Bob from Peru is pictures. not wearing lots any of, pants. Lots of pictures. And we'll just focus back in. Bob and let's not. take a look at who's on the IRC this week. If you want to be on the IRC, you can do it two ways. We have if you know how to use the IRC, or you're go, not stupid. Or you're not stupid, download IRC. What, did you do it? Go to the Dalnet servers. CR Lepke. Go to, yeah, CR Lepke. Go to the Dalnet servers in the Rant Radio yeah, channel. And he was whining about not getting no any spaces. official uh, What's that? recognition. Recognition. I give him tons of recognition. Poor little civil engineer. like the engineer. engineer. We said it all last week. Poor little guy. We're harassing Dutchman. him about him losing his name. Dirty Bob. Mew. Dirty Bob. Mew. And uh, let's see who we have here. Caffeine. That's a new one. I don't know how to use the IRC. <laughs> oh, okay. You don't know how to use the IRC. <laughs> Go to the webpage, www.rantradio.com. Oh, wait, wait. Bob wants to explain for all the stupid people. For all the stupid people, if you don't know how to use the IRC, if you have still have the box you got your computer in, I want you to pack it up, take it back to the store where you bought your computer, and tell them you're too stupid to own a computer. Actually, uh, I'd like receipt. to say uh, this is really funny to Civil Engineer because, uh, actually, and I think we should rename Civil Engineer to Structural Integrity Man, yeah. just <laughs> a, as, a, as, a, as a rule of thumb. But it's kind of interesting because myself and civil engineer have yep. communicated through every possible digital medium now except for face to face and we've been trying to set it up for two weeks we have left phone messages phone calls we're now communicating through an IRC and shoutcast and we live not more than 10 miles apart pathetic huh is that brutal or what that's just that's fucking brutal. 10 miles so hey how's it going we will you know somehow hook up all right sim how do i use the irc okay go to the webpage www.rantradio.com skip the flash intro click on web no click on what is it what's it called talk irc what is it click on chat could it be click on stupid people chat and as you can see, it'll come up. It'll say starting Java. It takes about 10 Java minutes to start the Java it. up. And then you type in an original name. If you don't type in an original name, you die. Hit me with that. Uh, Large you'll, soup Nazis come you'll to your house be like it changed to guest 15624. So type in a very, very original name. And then you can chat with all these wacky, crazy people. 
Too complicated for me. Okay, we've also got G.K. Jackal, uh, Lord Heresy, Mord Sith, Paco, Sean Three, Shaz Bort, Structural Integrity Man, <coughs> Todd Cooney, Voodoo Glow Skull, Zal Tar, and Disdainful Gloom Bunny. Okay. Oh, attaboy. Okay, Paco. Why is the Flash intro there? It's just, like, Lord. annoying. Well, you know what? There's two choices there, Sparky. If what? you don't want to watch it, you click on No Flash, fucky. <laughs> what were you talking about, Paco? He's, he's complaining about there being a Flash intro to the... Web. Stop crying, Paco. You have the choice. Yes. Sparky. We give choice. you the choice. We're an equal opportunity web page. Paco's stupid. He has not hey, GT bastard. Stupid. 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 No, that's Paco. Stupid. <laughs> that means he... That just means that his name is used by someone else. Paco Minus. <laughs> Rob's being you brutal, are, but you... you are change, Paco, private. change your name to Fucky. Fucky, no, F-U-K-E-E. Fucky, change your name to Private Bloggins. <laughs> hey, look, That's Chan serves says we're registered. Yay. Yay. Finally, so we got, we got lots of stuff, as usual. We got the movie man. Are we we don't now? have gross hospital stories tonight. For the first time, oh, I mean the unless first we thing really want to phone him, unless Projectile Vomit Man says otherwise, is he still awake or do you know? No he could be dead. He could be working. Could be dead. Anyway. He said not to phone. He's going to be asleep. He has to work oh, in the morning. It's the first time in I'd say four him. months. We should, no, oh. he didn't call. There was one other time he didn't have one. We didn't call him. He wasn't here two weeks in a row. We called him one week. We didn't call him the second week. No. No. It was two weeks in a row. No. Yeah. We didn't. No. Call. We called him the first time. Do a Sumerian? No. We didn't. No. And he was too sick no. to do anything, but he was still on, and the second week he did. No, he didn't. He did do one. No. Okay. No. You're wrong. You're wrong, and I'm right. Standard. We don't have gross hospital stories unless somebody's brave enough to phone him. Considering the amount of time that. Uh, the DAC has been off work. I think the sleep excuse doesn't fly. I think we should call him anyway. <laughs> okay, we will call him. We will do gross hospital stories in one manner or another. We'll get his voice if on I, the air to you because. We'll say, fuck off, crying bitch. <laughs> We've got. Uh, <laughs> we don't have question of the week because I don't know why. We also don't have movie thought quotes. of one yet. That's why. Yeah, we don't have movie quotes either because we're out picking up uh, Drex. We have lots of news of the week. Um, and I've got some other stuff for you people. But right now, I was scouring around the internet. Actually, I was a party at a party a couple days ago, and one of my friends said, Hey, I've got a song called What the Hell? No. And I'm like, That's awesome. And I say, Give it to me, give it to me. So he gave it to me, and it's on this tape, and it's really. <laughs> I stole the tape from him. And he gave it to me, and it's horrible, horrible recording That's on a tape. It's. No. <laughs> Isn't that just to throw you off? Rank? Just <laughs> Isn't that so? Same thing happened to me. Okay, here we go. People on the MIRC. Sim, the cruel fuck, goes, gets a big bowl, puts a bunch of M&Ms in there. And then, like, we're talking, like, I don't know, 10, 10 or 11 metric pounds of M&Ms. And don't, 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 grab, me. don't grab me, you bunch of metric fucks. Metric Shut up. Drexel, you're an ugly <laughs> fuck anyway. So, the thing is, that this thing here, regardless of that... He goes and puts one package of Skittles <laughs> into the bag of MS. So you're eating it, and you're like, mmm, chocolate. And they're not even the normal Skittles. Mm, they're like chocolate. the fucking fruity tea mm, Skittles. Chocolate. Crunch. Mmm, <laughs> sugar and some kind of and flavoring. Fruit, fruit and berry. <laughs> fruit, fruit and berry <laughs> crunch. It's like, <laughs> it's fly cover. It. <laughs> like, motherfucker, it's, you ever do Candy-coated like flies. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> If we could sue you for something like this, this would be great. It's like, here's some Sprite, and it's actually water. Uh, you know, if, if this was the States, you could sue them for mental anguish. I, mean, I could. We should sue you and stealing a life from the movie. No, I've, I've got some don't great don't suing for news. for promoting gambling. Because don't, you're don't reveal it yet. That's one of my news stories. That's one of my news stories. That's one of my news stories. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I know it's, that story. Too. You know that story? Okay, yeah. we're going to do that for right now. Uh, it's a band called Big Cookie, <laughs> and the song is called What the Hell? And they're from Vancouver. Oh, wait. So, so local, play. local, local. We we get our. Who gives uh, we, a fuck if it sucks? It sucks. We play. get our thirty percent Canadian content in here. Who gives a shit? <laughs> nobody we cares. We know, it's the we're internet. So there is no borders. We're so concerned about the CRTC here. Oh, we are. Nobody, nobody. We, I I hate fucking borders. Everybody's all like, oh, thirty percent Canadian content. Fuck Canadian content. What has Canada done in the music industry that doesn't that that like seriously doesn't suck? What are you talking about? 
Dion. And Dion licks Sweet back. Dion. For, but no, 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 man. Hey, Canada has Canada has lots of uh, music, good music, and you would never hear any of it if it wasn't for the thirty percent. True. Ash, oh, Ashley McIsaac. Tragically hip, suck ass. Okay, but that's your opinion. Most people like. Tragically hip. No, I don't think they do, actually. A lot of Canadians do, but if you ask the Americans, because there's only 26 million of us, yeah, who but cares? What, it Basically. doesn't matter. That's the point, is we'd no never help. hear them. It, honestly, Basically. we would never hear them if it wasn't for the 30%, yeah. because so we would just get drowned by all the American we music. We would get fucking Casey Casey. How about O.R.? O.R.? Check the O.R. Yeah, there was a major band in its time. But that's like, isn't that like Tom Green? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. Tom Green is a fucking idiot too. No. Yes. Tom. Tom Green needs to get hit in the head with a mining pick. Can I make a I'm note? Yeah. This is really loud. In my ears. Yes, really Rush loud. Yes. Rush does suck. Talk. Okay. Kidding. Why? Here you go. I don't know why. Hey, good. Turn down he changed headphones. his name to. Fu- no, okay. okay. Excellent. Bare um, ladies. I like the bare naked ladies. <laughs> okay. Here's the song. Enough. Enough. Thank you. Turn down the headphones if oh, it's, it's too just loud. The headphones. Yeah. Everything else is fine? Yep. Okay, here's Big Cookie with What the Hell. Tom Green does so. I know. All right. Actually, not really, because my job's pretty The nice. songs that were... Meow, 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 me
Every night, every day, it's Rant Radio. They're unstoppable. They're out of control. They're smashing babies on the front steps. They're the worst kind of degradation known to man. For every occasion, at bar mitzvahs, bring the children, bring the old folks, bring people you don't know, bring dead relatives, monster drugs, mecha, giant squid, things that go bump in the night, large smarties that fall from space. It's all in one place for one time only. Everything. Must die. No one leaves the stadium alive. Mass grave burial afterwards. 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 Bob won't get out of my seat. No problem there, Private Drax. We'll fix that up real quick. Bob removal. For ease of learning, this movement has been broken down into squads. Squad one. One. All that is done in squad one is the Bob is picked up in an underhand grasp Air by the neck. On. Seen? Seen. All right, Private Drexel, practice this on your own time and I will come around to see that it is being done correctly. Private Drexel, is that an underhand grasp? Does it look okay, remotely wait. like an underhand grasp? Pay attention to the- What are you so doing? So, we won't put you on the air. Hello? Hello? Oh, well, we tried to get the structural integrity guy. Bob, um, get out of my seat. Things off. No problem there, Private Drexel, we'll fix that up real quick. Bob removal. For ease of learning, this movement has been broken down into squads. Squad one, one. But now they all have to listen ah. to the beginning all over again. All that is done in squad one is the Bob is picked up in an underhand grasp by the neck. <laughs> Seen? Seen. All right, Private Drexel, practice this on your own time and I will come around to see that it is being done correctly. Private Drexel, is that an underhand grasp? Does it look remotely like an underhand grasp? Pay attention to detail, Private Drexel, or we will be here all night until you get this correct. The What the Hell Show celebrates the triumphant return of Drexel, but don't worry, Bob's not going anywhere. My legs! Let's go! Go my legs! Let go, go, let go my legs! Get back here, you. Yep, people are talking about Tron on the IRC. What is really? going on? They're going to do a sequel to Tron. They're going to do a sequel to Tron. Yeah, that would kick ass. sequel to Star Wars. You think it would kick ass? That would kick ass. Tron was such an awesome movie. I mean, it probably sucks. For I'm not going to watch it again because For its time, I'd be all disappointed, but... I, I wouldn't mind watching it with the sound <laughs> off just to see just to see the computer graphics by comparison. <laughs> yeah. They could watch the do video games job. they played, yeah. Especially if they made a better video game. <laughs> I think I think it would be too easy to tell that they're just in a big room, <laughs> a big dark room or something. With <laughs> the Intellivision versions of the Tron games were awesome because they were all separated. You could have like the deadly discs sure. or the runners and that. Yeah, they were pretty cool. I like the deadly discs one. Deadly discs was the best game. The so sound effects, especially. The bike was the best game. Actually, the best game for sound effects that amazes me is Mission Impossible. Stay a while. Stay forever. Destroy him, my robots. <laughs> yep. Great animation. Like, that was an amazing, amazing game yep. on the Commodore 64. Oh. <laughs> I tried to find the emulator for that, but they didn't have it. No, oh, that was very cool. Very hey, cool. No, wait, wait, wait. Describe that, that was game. Good one too. Describe that game. It's it's a, it's a side scrolling adventure game. Pitfall uh, Underground. Yeah, Pitfall Underground, only way cooler. A mil- rolling skulls and snakes that you can't really kill. Whoa, rolling skulls? Nobody rolling said it skulls? That's satanic. <laughs> you get little swords and you don't actually see them kill anything with a sword. Well, that's but evil and you can't kill things in video games. All you people should, listening like, on the IRC. They should like, get together and okay, have little Okay, stop. Hearts. That's enough of you. We wrecked him. Damn near killed him. All you people in the IRC, our people listening, we want your pictures. We want listeners' pictures because we have a picture page for our listeners. Yes, if you send us or email us a digital picture, picture, we'll put it up. Picture page, picture page. page. Or you can mail it to us now. No, you have. No, you could. Yeah, and we'll give you a mailing address to send us (laughs) all. Box two five six. Fort Langley, BC, V0X1JO. Why don't you type that into the MRC? Because if somebody's actually like. No. Yeah, type it in. <laughs> I will. Do it, now. Um, do it. Yeah, email, do it now. Email, email, your, email your pictures to info, info at rantradio.com. Do it now. 
Do as, it. Do as it soon now. as you say, as soon oh, as you say, info at radio.com. You have to pop into your radio man announcer voice. Email your pictures to info at rentradio.com or connect us on the IRC. Breaking the chair, man. It's it's to the side. It's to the side. Uh, it looks pretty broken. Pick another chair. You broke another. Why is it that? What is what is his nickname? Two beds and one chair. Yep. <laughs> Keep it Shade? going. Yeah, are you serious? <laughs> and some cars. <laughs> Who's Paco? Paco is new. He's never listened to the show. Okay, here's the address. If somebody else can talk while I type or say something interesting. Who is going to tell a story? Okay, well, Bob was going to tell a story about hey, the policeman voodoo, encounter. Voodoo Glow Skull. So, if you if you want, uh, well, why are you going to write, write radio on your ass? What, what can we give him? If you fuck? tattoo it on your ass, we'll give you a t-shirt. Do you have t-shirts? We will be having yes, t-shirts. Oh, t-shirt update. Uh, there is no t-shirt update. All <laughs> I know. No, 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 no. Listen, 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 listen. Okay. The guy, it's one of my customers. <laughs> And uh, he works at Benson Graphics, and uh, he is able to, like, he does this stuff, right? But he's going to try and get all this stuff so that all we have to do is pay for ink and T-shirts, obviously. Well, and that's, that will make it cheaper. But mean, because like, we're getting supplies? a deal and getting helped out, you can't really, like, kick him in the ass constantly and say, look here, fucky, we want our shit, and we want our shit now. But he's a he's a good guy and he's trying to help us out, so I'm not going to push him too bad. Well, are they so black t-shirts? No, it's going to be, be white be t-shirts white. with. Well, why even black. bother? Why not just get the iron-on printer things and do it ourselves? Well, we're going to see. Go for it, but if you do it the proper way, it just it just you end up the re, the same reason that people who make t-shirts professionally don't do that because well, it's better to have it done. Yeah, but the thing is, so why are we getting so white screen. t-shirts? Because I notoriously trash. White-ass but, but the thing is, we're not making t-shirts, t-shirts for Sean guy. Kennedy, the fucking man. We're making t-shirts for the masses. Yeah, but the, nobody likes white fucking t-shirts. Everybody wants a black t-shirt. It doesn't matter. Our symbol works on a white t-shirt. It doesn't work on a black t-shirt. Well, then what if we reverse the colors on a symbol? Concept. Whoa. Oh, that would be fine, but we're not going to do that because... That would be that would be an alternate T-shirt, you know and that would be, that'd be the later project. Oh, that's you know what? bullshit! I I disagree with you. I prefer the white. That'll be I think the white is better. I'm the one making them. So argument's over. White power. One problem. Boom. One problem with putting putting white text on a black T-shirt is it takes like about three times as much ink to get it to show up as opposed to black on a white T-shirt because you have to layer it up, or otherwise it looks all grayish and disgusting. Hey, That's a good soccer. reason, but you know what? That's not my reason. <laughs> it's a good reason, but I like white t-shirts better, and I'm the one okay. getting the t-shirts done. <laughs> Everyone on the internet. So I'm in control. There's the reason. Type okay. it in. White on black <laughs> how about, how or about black this? on a white t-shirt? How about fuck you? How about you make your t-shirts, and I'll make my t-shirts? <laughs> that, that is fine. And That's we'll perfectly fine. we'll in, and we'll have a t-shirt <laughs> war, and we'll see who the fuck. Who sells like, the most. To see who likes the more t-shirts. Fuck okay. that. Just vote them. I, I'm no, all no, for no. it. No, no, no. We have to sell them, because... Fuck it, and we'll the set most. the price. And whoever bu- whoever sells <laughs> that's fine the most T-shirts, and I'll set the price for them. Okay, when are you gonna have your T-shirts done? <laughs> Considering I'm working like a crazy Mexican. Oh, for now oh, come the excuses. Well, when are you gonna have your? Hey, okay, when are you gonna? Have- <laughs> okay, well, we'll set a time. <laughs> we'll set a time. We'll set a time. <laughs> Look at that, black and white. People black, are, black, people are agreeing black, with, with, black with Drex. Yellow um, and purple. Yellow and purple. Woo! Yeah! Yellow on purple. Yellow on purple would kick ass. <laughs> orange on purple. Actually, sure. I think purple on yellow black would be better. On yellow. Black on black. Chaz bot. Okay, purple. adjust the headset. Anything involving purple. <laughs> black on black. Too close to the screen, Chaz bot. Black on black. Remove your head from the monitor. Okay, listen. No, seriously, let's set a time when the t-shirts have to be done by. Otherwise, no. the other person automatically forfeits. No, fuck you. You want to play the I, game? You know, no, no, no. I'm being realistic because it's, it's just not going to happen. It's not, yeah, it's never going to happen if you don't set a deadline. No, it's it's just not going to happen. It's just going to end up not happening. That's right. No, 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 no. I say it's what Sunday Sunday night now. Mm-hmm. We have two weeks. Uh, Gloom Bunny have, is ne- next week. I don't even have. He's gone. I'm not even here. <laughs> I'm gone to Wainwright for a week. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. very gay. Drex Drex okay, well, will not be here for the show How next week. How about by Christmas? Bob from Peru will be taking over again. We have until his job, his the first life. day of December. That way people can buy them for Christmas presents. All right. They will be done for Christmas. They will be done for the beginning of Christmas. Lord Get Heresy, for all your loved ones. I don't have time to chat with you. However, however, one more rule. 
<laughs> Whoever gets their t-shirts done first can start selling them right away. That's it doesn't have to be fair. That's right. That's fine. They just have to be done by a certain And what is the price? We'll have to set the same price on t-shirts, though. We don't know yet. We don't know. We but don't know how much they're going to cost. If we say twelve dollars, they cost price. us fifteen. They'll be the same price, but we no, will set whatever it. Whatever the price is, we will it'll set be the same. Price. Gloom Buddy I'm is thinking. I'm thinking about a hundred bucks each. <laughs> oh, they'll just sell. <laughs> With well, a oh, no, 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 no. Listen, this is this is in Canadian dollars. So that'd be what five bucks American. <laughs> no, just listen, just lifetime. listen. Because I personally, I think that people who get T-shirts should win them. Well, yeah, and, that's what we're going to do. Is and win if it. you want to do what the rich do. And buy coolness. You gotta pay for it. Uh, fuck that. I say uh, <laughs> people should just buy their t-shirts. I'm, t-shirt. I'm just kidding. Holy fuck over. Gloom Bunny is looking very. If you ser- get a Rant Radio hey! tattoo, we'll send you a t-shirt. Yes, for absolutely. sure. I, we'll send. I'll send you one, and Darcy will send you one. We'll right. sign it. We'll sign it. We wow. will get <laughs> something for the hard drive. If you get Rant, if you get Rant Radio tattoo on your face. <laughs> We'll give you two. We'll Our give you money. two t-shirts. Hey, listen, we'll money. give you I'm one, one black on white and one white on black. I've been sitting like a fat pig and all that kind of stuff on the for, on the shows before. Listen, don't get a rant radio tattoo. That is the you stupidest can't. fucking idea. It's there. Don't forever. listen to him. He doesn't know what he's it's talking about. Forever. Get one. Like a, get There's like laser a, surgery. Get, get, like one on each, get one on each. Get one on each breast. Rant. No rant radio. Alarmingly low amount of cash. I will put rant radio across my face. That's what I want. With a tattoo? Not tattoo. Not tattoo. With a Hannah tattoo oh, that won't breasts? come off. Would you do it with a Hannah tattoo on your face? A what? A Hannah tattoo. You know those Hannah, tattoos? Hannah. They Hannah. Hannah they're, they're, they're there they're for like a week and a half and then they leave. Week but, and a half. Closer to yes, for an alarmingly low amount of cash. <laughs> What's that? For an alarmingly low amount okay, of Okay, but cash. what's what? the alarming, alarmingly, alarmingly low, low for a real that. tattoo? For a t-shirt. Oh, crap. No, a real tattoo on my face. Like, oh, couldn't do it. I'd like to get laid by my wife sometime in the next 20 years. Hanukkah. Hanukkah. Okay, let's let's actually do something. All right. Then. <laughs> let's move on to the news items. Actually, Enough what would be really cool is if somebody shaved the Rank Radio logo on the back of their head. Oh. And then T-shirts uh, for you. And then yeah, <laughs> yes. shit, shit like that. Do stuff with the do Rank Radio logo. Do stuff with Rank Radio. Send it in. I will send do you stuff. a T-shirt and a surprise gift oh, if no. <laughs> if you take and put the Rant Radio decal <coughs> on some major structure and it gets on the news. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if it gets on like the news. Like if you like burned it into a crop or did a crop circle of the Rant Radio logo. Okay, now we don't I endorse need to, this. I need to back no what endorsing. We're talking this. about before. This is why I say the T-shirts should sell for about a hundred bucks because otherwise, the only other way to get it is by being kick-ass cool or rich and willing to part with your cash. You either have to be cool and do yes. something cool for Rant Radio and get a T-shirt, or it's more cool that way. You have way. to like give us money. It's like, Lots of I money. won this t-shirt. You know what, it's, though? It's much right? more... To be t- on the flip side of that, there's probably a lot of people out there who listen to our show who are just kind of like loyal listeners who just hang in and probably think, you know, if they're shit, lo- I'd, like to wear, I'd like to wear a t-shirt and yeah. I can't really afford a whole lot. So then they can win it. it. Yeah, and part. they get it for free. I, I, yeah, we didn't even pay the shipping. You guys have a really yeah. over-inflated idea of how loyal your listeners are. Well, we have loyal listeners. Yeah. I don't think Believe we'll, me. Don't oh, think yeah. We'll, I don't think we'll Very sell loyal. a single one. But if there's someone out there who wants one... What's this? <laughs> oh, they'll do it. Paco says crop circle. We'll give you a t-shirt for that, too. A GK... GK Jackal says, I'm going to get a projectile vomit man face on my ass. T shirt for that for that for show. Like, projectile vomit man is the sex symbol of the what the hell show. Okay, he's the meal ticket. It's the meal Vomitman, ticket. We want a picture of you in lingerie and we'll make you the pinup girl. <laughs> for, <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, you don't want that. We should make a calendar, into the a mic. downloadable Rant Radio calendar. That's a good plan. That's, That's an awesome. Amazing plan. That's awesome. You can print it out. We'll make a swimsuit calendar. We already have your photo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The one with we'll have the swimsuit calendar. We already have you wearing a a, a really enticing pair of boxing shorts and a rather you know, large steel. One with the sock. Right now too. Can I have C six. Oh, that's with my, that's with my uh, PT shorts, but yeah. Yeah, that'd be Into an awesome the microphone. bathing suit one. We already have a picture of Anki naked, as disturbing as I personally find that because it's like her sister. <laughs> that's his bathing. <laughs> that's his bathing. I put a sock over my genitals. <laughs> I thought this uh, suit. It wasn't we should fault. do that. Get twelve of us and we'll pose like very various, easy. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Like this Seinfeld. We'll put list. That'll be the free gift. We'll make like calendars and we'll like list our own birthdays and do yep. Rant Radio events. Rant Radio events. Oh yeah. Okay. The this start is of stuff Rant we Radio. should plan and do. <laughs> this is stuff we should plan and do when we're 
off the air because otherwise we well, can sound a bunch of braggarts. Oh, Although I think they we like do this. That, and that'll be easy. Because you've got Drex's pic- picture. Drex likes long walks on the beach. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, it's time to move on to the news. Shut up everywhere. Tag, tag, tag students defy Big Brother social security numbers with the Pepsi logo. So I shall put this in the IRC so the people at home can play along. We could do an underwear. I read this. This is genuinely, this genuinely is, disturbing. This is disturbing. Tag students defy Big Brother. Reject being forced to wear social security numbers. Hundreds of students in this little town, Ruston, Louisiana, don't want to wear their social security numbers around their necks for all to see. Their social, their school administrators have ignored their complaints even through their num, even though their numbers are growing. Uh, when the school began a few weeks ago, uh, students at Ruston High School, like many students across the nation, were required to wear an ID badge as part of added security precautions. Many students across the nation. And many students across the nation. Didn't the Jews do something like that? Wait, yes. <laughs> I, I seem to remember something like that. The badges in Ruston included each student's social security number, a violation of federal law, according to two students. Ah, uh, this is the worst part of it. The badge is worn on a lanyard with a Pepsi logo on it. The badge has a photo of the student, the school name, the student's name, and a barcode which represents a social security number. The choice of the next generation. A Pepsi logo a Pepsi with logo. a number on it. Could be worse. Could be a Nike swoosh to go. Could be a Nike swoosh. This, this violation scooch. of your personal privacy brought to you by Pepsi. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so. <if> it, <laughs> Okay, let's just think about this. Do you think somewhere at Pepsi Corporation there's a public relations guy who's getting his ass handed to him like, you're fired. You're so fired. How did you ever think up this dumbass idea? Yeah, totally. Like, yeah. you're so fired, there's, you're going to be fired for your next three jobs. There's schools, uh, there's schools that are around here uh, that have actually adopted food fair style lunchrooms. Like, there's a school in Port Coquitlam now that has... Like you can get New York fries and McDonald's and all that. Well, that's We're not a, cool. that's not a huge deal. They have that's that in cool. university. If, if it's yeah. cheaper or if it works, great. It is cheaper. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, real the, healthy the food. Point, there, the, I wasn't is, complaining. The point. Worse, no, no, no. That's not what I mean. Yeah. The, the point being, though, is that big business is worming its way into the schools. Very oh quickly. yeah, there's. I've oh, been, they've had I've that about, before. I've heard about nutrition programs that were brought in by the Canadian soft drink. Sellers Foundation, which would not, which didn't discern the difference between between uh, simple carbohydrates and complex carbohydrates. Uh-huh. So it's just like you know, yeah, drink your orange crush, get all your energy. Who the hell needs bread? <laughs> Disdainful gloom bunny. Just if you do any of these these things that you're saying you're going to do, you will get a T-shirt. And anybody else out there? For each one. For each one, there's like tattoos, and she's gonna spray paint rant radio on. The Just water remember, tower when you're nine hey, and we'll your grandchildren are on your ass. I'll give you an extra size, extra large size butt plug to keep forever. <laughs> remember, if you're going to do rant radio, make sure you do www.rantradio.com or it won't mean anything to anyone. Actually, we don't endorse any of this, <laughs> so don't do any of this. Oh, save! Save by the, save oh, by the bell. How about if, if you wore? Wouldn't it be ironic if somebody did this? URL on a tag around your neck on a lanyard. <laughs> With the Pepsi hey. logo on it. Yeah, oh, instead of the awesome Pepsi one. Radio logo with a, with your, um, yeah, number, instead of the Pepsi logo. Of, no, and put 6666 no, no, six, six, no, no, six no, as your social security. Insurance number, it's your ID. <laughs> yeah, are it's there, the IP. Oh, that That's good. Are there bar, can you get barcodes that read letters instead of just numbers? Oh, yeah, could anything. Have a barcode that just reads the Rant Radio uh, URL. Yeah. That would kick it's, ass. It is letters. I, I've used one. I've swiped all my cards to see what they had on it. It's yeah. only the stuff on the front. It wasn't that interesting. Actually, it would be but, a really good thing if any of our listeners could send us one of those badges. Oh, that would be cool. If any of those people go to one of those schools that is a fascist uh, state, you know what's the, the cool okay, thing, though? The one cool thing that's emerging out of it is the kids at that high school are apparently all learning how to read uh, barcodes on site. <laughs> I they would are. love to do that. That kicks ass. Yes, that, that is very cool. And I've actually got the school rules here well, wait as minute, well. Wait a minute. Is that really that useful? I mean, writing barcodes, barcodes take up more space than letters. Yeah, but you can read the barcodes and know what and anything. Say. That's kind of <laughs> but the point in having barcodes is so that computers can read them, not so that. But they don't as a, have as a, and numbers on them. It would be nice to be able to read a shipping label. If we can't hear you. Okay. I, I understand. I see what you're saying. Shut up! I'm talking now, Jojo. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! 
Actually, I was talking, bitch. <laughs> Don't make me come over there and pour Dr. Pepper on your head. Because oh, you're wearing excellent. headphones and they'll short out. Uh, all I was say, uh, trying to say is that, especially for a person like yourself, who is in the shipping industry, you've got to understand they would be really cool to you know, be able to read a barcode that doesn't have the address, say, on it, or it's obscured by another sticker. That would be a useful skill. Or just being able to... Uh, yeah. no? no? Shut up, I'm trying to make a point. Your point is very, very It would be okay, neat, I tried. I but, but uh, it's not it's really nifty. useful. It's, it's just generally nifty. It doesn't it's, have to be useful. It's neat, but it's not. I don't think it's all that useful. It's Rain Man nifty. Rain Man nifty. <laughs> it's Rain Man nifty. Here's the, here's, oh, 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 the, the rules. here's the rules from the school. Oh, this is the dress is code. Four. I'd love to know how they check for number Wait, four. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> you're going to start at number one. Okay, go then. <laughs> Dress code for RHS is as follows. Footwear must be worn in school facilities and on school grounds. No house slippers may be worn. Number two, tank tops, undershirts, halters, bare midriff tops, see-through tops, and sleeveless shirts are not acceptable as outer garments by themselves. Tops with bare shoulders or cutouts are unacceptable. Also, tank tops with sport bras and any under combination is un unacceptable. And number three, next person, Drex. Shorts are acceptable dress if they meet the following guidelines. Only shorts that are hemmed and come within four inches from... <coughs> figures four inches from the kneecap may be worn. <laughs> no biker shorts of any type are acceptable. Athletic shorts are not permissible. What? <laughs> okay, so no gym. Mm -hmm. No boxer type shorts are acceptable. What the hell? Oh, <laughs> shorts may know? not be rolled up or have holes in them. And Aaron, go ahead right, for number, number four. Number four, proper undergarments must be worn. I'd love to define. know how they check for Mark. this. <laughs> yep. Wear no clothing with degrading, profane, abusive, or questionable markings. Questionable markings. Questionable markings. So much for red radio you could, yeah, you couldn't wear the rent radio t-shirts. Yeah, but that, that Pepsi logo on. sure as fuck isn't a questionable marking. <laughs> clothing may, making direct reference to, to beverage, alcohol, <laughs> or illegal drugs are not permissible, but they can wear the Pepsi logo. Beverage. To beverage alcohol? Beverage alcohol. And That's kind of weird. Beverage, alcohol, alcohol, or illegal beverage. drugs. Yet they know. can wear the Pepsi logo. Mm, okay. And no Big Johnson t-shirts are accepted. Who's Big Johnson? Oh, yeah, they're, they're, the Big Johnson. they're these Big really Johnson's bad cartoon t-shirts. Big, they're, really you know. bad. Okay. Wear no hats, scarves, hair rollers, etc. inside the building. No hats. Wear no excessively tight clothing, boys or girls, including bicycle shorts. Didn't they already cover bicycle shorts? So no riding your bike to They're not to excessively school. tight. I think the They're just tight. No. Okay, Hank, you should come back to me now. <laughs> no, no, no. It, it, look, just a sec. I'm not finished with this one. No excessively tight clothing. It, what it should say is fat people shouldn't wear biker shorts. I think that's what they're getting at because that's excessively tight. Wear no sunglasses unless under doctor's orders. Yeah, I'll just my right okay, so that I look first of all, your doctor doesn't give you orders. Your doctor makes suggestions. <laughs> the day yard. my doctor gives me an order will be the day I'm in the clock tower and Gloom Bunny's handing me ammo. That's how that happens. <laughs> Sean, here's your government prescribed drugs. You yeah, have to take them. Like, Jello Biafra needs to do a <laughs> serious drive-by on this school, man. Uh, no nose, nose studs will be allowed. No pajamas are to be worn at all. Wait, no pajamas. You missed one. I know. Skirts must come within figures four inches from the kneecap. All dresses with thin straps must have undergarments to cover oh. the upper body. Wait, wait a second here. Does that mean that you you're not permitted to wear a skirt which is longer than four inches from your kneecap? <laughs> Wasn't there? A I guess so. Was there not? <laughs> four inches was there not already a previous article which banned any dresses which, uh, or any clothing which had open shoulders? Yes. But if you're wearing a dress which has thin straps... <laughs> oh, it's a... No, 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 no. That's shirts. Covers. Dresses are okay because they're proper. No, it's all right to see shoulders. Is this a private school? Uh, no. no. It is a public school. You have to have under undergarments to cover the I don't think I could live if I, if I were... If I were a, just entering puberty boy in high school and the girls weren't allowed to wear excessively tight clothing. <laughs> yeah, it would ruin the whole high school experience. There's really nothing else worth going there for. <laughs> well, no, you can steal a Tetra toxin. <laughs> Our next one is, if it still works. Uh, you guys should say you're kidding about the drive-by. Do you know who Joe my is? <laughs> <laughs> what, what were people saying? 
No, we we weren't kidding about the drive by. Suck it. <laughs> well, oh, you guys were. No, we said that Jello Biafra should do a drive by. Yeah. Well, we're gonna yeah, we're sued. gonna be politically correct oh, and such cover an our asses because we're worried about a lawsuit. He's such a violent man, Jello Biafra. <laughs> yeah, he kept running his face into those punk's fists a while ago at that club. Oh, yeah. Dope dealers drive eBay potty. Potheads who help to cash in on a trip of a lifetime after responding to an ad on eBay offering 500 pounds of marijuana have received a different kind of blow from the online auctioneers. Less than 24 hours after the ad was posted, officials closed down the offer, but despite eBay's quick reaction, bidding has reached had reached $10 million for the haul. Holy shit. <laughs> Some people out there are really desperate. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but that's, that's BC pot, and it's the best in the world. That's right. Um, well, I think the guy who sold his organs was the shit, personally, but anyway. <laughs> Did he get shut down, or was he for real? Oh, while eBay down. will tolerate harmless hoaxers, it is committed to stamping anything illegal, such as now famous kidney and baby-selling incidents. Earlier this week, it appears the British royal family was put up for sale. <laughs> there is no news whether anyone was remotely interested in buying the Windsors. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Isn't that hilarious? Really Some guy just comes up to Prince Charles and goes, "You know, I don't think you should go here today." Well, why could should someone, I listen to you? Because uh, I own you. Could, could someone? Could someone have a call girl on eBay? Because technically, that's legal. If it was in it's uh, not Nevada, it's rental. Jello Viagra. Yeah, that's right. That's rental. <laughs> yeah, it is rental. Seriously, Jello Viagra. You can't rent things on eBay. It's just sale. Next one is. I like the question. Suing over Pokemon cards. Kids start gambling when young. Pokemon. Lawsuit slams Pokemon as bad bet for addicted kids. Look at the picture here. Don't they just There's like so miserable from all that gambling? Oh, they, they're... they're so unhappy. And they're waiting. It's, it's obviously Pokemon. ruined Pokemon their lives. Kitty magic. It's got, kitty magic. I got magic. confused there. I was looking at the picture on the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> oh, those guys look sad. Oh, wait. <laughs> Two Pokemon rat... Pack rats are suing the maker of the wildly popular trading cards, charging that the pocket monsters are turning them into pint-sized gamblers. Okay, the the suit says the cards maker Nintendo ram randomly includes a rare one in the 11 card packages that sells for three to eleven dollars. Thus, the lawsuit says kids are forced to empty their pockets to get the rare cards, which can be resold for three thirty to a hundred dollars. What lawyer is representing? Okay, where is this good part? He and fellow fourth grader Andrew said they spent thousands of dollars trying to get the scarce cards that are big status symbols with their friends. Okay, What's this? Thousands of dollars? Where did these three... Was it fourth grade? Where did they get this money? From their... From their stupid parents. From their stupid parents who doesn't don't watch over them in the beginning. And, giving them and now they're checks. suing because, because we can't watch our own kids. Because they spent thousands of dollars to get a few hundred dollar cards. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that that, this is, <laughs> that makes even more possible. sense. Yes. Well, you know, they, they, they're, they're just kids. They haven't taken arithmetic in school yet. Or anything. <laughs> yeah. On that note, maybe they should be suing their math teacher instead. That would be far more productive. So at least maybe maybe they, they should be shooting well, themselves in the head <laughs> to uh, save face. I'd like to quote, I'd like to quote off of Slashdot. And uh, quote that if if these guys win, wow, should people go after Wizards of the West Coast in a big way? It is Wizards of the Coast. It is. Who do you think? It, it, who do you the think makes people. the Pokemon cards? Yeah, really. Yeah, yeah there even was the, even the there was an article a little bit, Wizards of the Coast. little bit further yeah. down saying what's that Wizards that of the Coast? The people who make magic cards. Uh, Hasbro, and what's Hasbro, wrong with Hasbro, magic cards? Nothing. I'm just because uh, people are saying, you know, if they if they were able to successfully sue over Pokemon cards, oh. boy, the mess that would happen over Magic cards. Oh yeah. And here's a segue <laughs> into another frivolous U.S. lawsuit. Woo! Teen alcoholic sues to get back on the basketball team. What? And here, oh, this one's just crazy. Says he's covered by Disabilities Act. A star basketball player and high school senior who has been diagnosed as an alcoholic is suing his school district under the Americans with Disabilities Act after the school kicked him off the team for athletic code violations involving al alcohol. Um, 17 years old. Violating a school athletic code after two alcohol-related offenses, including a May 23rd drunk, drunken driving car accident that nearly killed him. The school code imposes a 30% cut... Blah, blah, blah. He has been diagnosed as an alcoholic that is recognized disability under the federal laws and illegal for any public entity which the school is to discriminate. Okay. Um, He's 17. You're not supposed well, to drink in the States till you're 21. Also, oh. you're a drunk. Fuck you, die. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. 
<laughs> okay, we're going to go on to uh, how to avoid babysitting. This is pretty funny. So if you're a drug addict, is that like actually, is that covered if you're a drug addict? Oh, you can't kick me off the basketball team because I'm on crack. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Segfault's Guide to Avoiding Babysitting. Lesson one, don't play the victim. First, avoid... Oh, we won't even do this. This is too long, actually. I won't do this. Here's one. Great classified ads. Oh, some of these are wonderful. Classified ads. Actual excerpts from classified sections of city's newspaper. Illiterate? Write today for free help. Auto repair service. Free pickup and delivery. Try us once. You'll never go any, uh, anywhere again. <laughs> Our experienced mom will take care will care for your child. Fenced yard, meals and smacks included. <laughs> <laughs> Little typo. <laughs> Go for it, Aaron. Dog for sale. Eats anything. Have to read that for a second here. Dog for sale. Eats anything and is fond of children. <laughs> man, man wanted to work in dynamite factory. Must be willing to travel. <laughs> Stock up and save. Limit one. <laughs> Semi-annual after Christmas sale. <laughs> <laughs> the semi-annual every every two years after Christmas. What the fuck? Three-year-old teacher needed for preschool. Experience preferred. Wow, that that's hard, man. <laughs> Mixing bowl set designed to please a cook with round bottom for efficient beating. <laughs> <laughs> Girl wanted to assist magic in cutting off head illusion. Blue cross and salary. <laughs> Dinner special: turkey, two thirty-five. Chicken or beef, two twenty-five. Children, two dollars. <laughs> <laughs> for sale: antique desk suitable for lady with thick legs and large drawers. <laughs> <laughs> now is your chance to have your ears pierced and get an extra pair to take home too. <laughs> the fuck? We do not tear your clothing with machinery. We do it carefully by hand. <laughs> 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 For sale, three canary canaries canaries of undetermined sex. Huh? That's just dumb. Great dames for sale. <laughs> Have several very old dresses from grandmother in beautiful condition. Oh, that's kind of dope. Why are they getting worse? <laughs> Tired of cleaning yourself? Let me do it. <laughs> <laughs> Vacation special. What's Have that your phone home number? exterminated. <laughs> what? Mount Kilimanjaro, the breathtaking backdrop for the Serena Lodge. Swim in the lovely pool while you drink it all in. Wow. <laughs> the hotel well, has bowling alleys, tennis courts, comfortable beds, and other athletic facilities. <laughs> <laughs> the hotel has bowling alleys, tennis courts, comfortable beds, and other athletic facilities. Get rid of ants. A U N T S. Zap does the job in 24 hours. <laughs> I gotta give that guy a call. <laughs> toaster, a gift that every member of the family appreciates, automatically burns toast. <laughs> I don't get what they're supposed to say there. What is that supposed to originally mean? Automatic For rent, six room oh. hated apartment. That's supposed to be automatically turns toast. Man, honest, we'll take anything. <laughs> Use cars, why go elsewhere to be cheated? Come here first. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas tag sale. Handmade gifts for the hard-to-find person. Wanted hair cutter. Excellent growth potential. <laughs> oh, girl. Wanted man to take care of cow that does not smoke or drink. <laughs> That's not a nice thing to say about Our everybody. bikinis are exciting. They simply... They are simply the tops. Ah. <laughs> Wanted a wit widower with school-aged children requires p person to assume general housekeeping duties. Must be capable of contributing to the growth of family. Oh. <laughs> 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 and now the superstore, unequaled in size, unmatched in variety, unrivaled in inconvenience. <laughs> Go for it, Aaron. We will oil your sewing uh. machine and adjust tension in your home for one dollar. <laughs> And it's now time to go to the second What the Hell song that I found on the internet. And this one is by a band called Copacetic. And the song is called, amazingly, What the Hell. Red Radio. Um. 
Wow, did that ever suck? Has this ever happened to you? Has Henry Rollins ever come up to you and said, Sit the fuck down, shut the fuck up! This never need happen again once you order your Rant Radio t-shirt. Not available in small, medium, large, extra large, black, white, sleeveless, or turtleneck. Rant Radio t-shirts. If you can find one, you can wear one. Gets your whites whiter. Now with more caffeine and less fat. Good mileage off-road and on the highway. It's the leading brand in two out of three taste tests. 50% cheaper than the competition. Nine gynecologists recommend it. Cures cough due to cold, runny nose, achy heart, and diarrhea with 10 easy payments. And it won't match your hair. Rant Radio keeps your engine running cool. Has this ever happened to you? Has Henry Rollins ever come up to you and said, Sit the fuck down, shut the fuck up! This never need happen again once you order your Rant Radio T- What the hell? Mr. Garrison? Get down, ma! Hey, man, don't point a gun at your own mother. What the hell is wrong with you, Manson? You're acting all funny. What the hell are you doing, fat boy? Hey, you, hey, it's from a game show! The mayor has invited me to compete! Hi, Jackass. What the hell?
hell is that? <laughs> Who's laughing? Am I hallucinating here? Just what in the hell do you think you're doing? Boy, what in the hell's the matter with you? What the hell was that? What the hell is he talking about? What the hell kind of strategy is this? Mr. Wolf, what the hell are you doing here? Oh, come on! What the hell? What the hell is going on? Oh, we're back! <laughs> wow, okay, that What the Hell song sucked major back. That, I didn't say they're good. I just said they're what their song's called. Sorry, what the I hell? Never put that on this fucking stage. There's one more to endure. Oh my god, is it that kind of shit or what? <laughs> no, no, it's well, it's, it's not it's like it can't be a whole lot worse than that. <laughs> it's rock. Is it like it's glam rock. it's it's glammy? It's kind of. Uh, it's pretty Which cool. be like who's, Marty, actually. who's bastard bitch? They joined. Who's hey love. bastard bitch? Hey, and Dream Stalker too. Suggesting like a shitload of uh, what the hell songs here on IRC. They got like really? Two sets. Yeah. Oh, I played. Okay, I'm gonna play the. Un un I went through every th single MP3, the one on MP3s, and I looked through them, and I just played the Big Cookie one. Now Uncle Salty's cabin is coming up. That's the third one. Somebody knew about the Big Cookie one. Right? Well, they just they just the went through the Hi-Fi and the Road Burners. Um. I haven't looked at that one, but I typed in what the hell for every single one, and some of them didn't even say what the hell in the song. I don't think this person actually list, listened to them. If I had a Rant Radio TV t Rant Radio TV t-shirt, I would wear it at least once a week. Make sure you wash it. <laughs> okay, now it's time to go to... Let's, uh, let's do Gross Hospital Stories. <laughs> Who's going to be brave enough to phone Dak? I'll phone Dak. You phone Dak? Okay, let's queue up the, uh, queue up the intro. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. Oh, and all those samples I got from like Simpsons and stuff. I just did a search for what the hell and wave. So if anybody has anything remotely to do with what the hell, just send it over or give me the link or something on ICQ. He already wants to kill Vortex. I'll ensure his death. That would be for that incident last week. That would be for the incident last week. Okay, gross hospital stories. Here it is. put his phone number up. Now. <laughs> Once again, it's time <laughs> for gross hospital uh, stories. <laughs> I have no idea what the phone number is. <laughs> Hi. We're just waiting for him to pick up the phone. Hey, this is going to be we're sorry. The number you've dialed is not in service. Uh, I think we did a misdial. Thank you. Really? <clears throat> we're trying to phone Dax here for the gross hospital stories. And we're going to dial again. And here we are dialing. We're dialing, 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 dialing. We're going to play the intro again. No, we're not. <laughs> Everything's fine. We're all fine here. How are you? How are you? Conversation anyway? Uh, ne negative, negative reactor leak, very dangerous. Uh. Hello. Good evening, we're calling on behalf of Rant Radio. Is Desmond home? Yeah, one second. Is this, is this Dax from Rant Radio? Uh, hello. Please. Howdy, how's it going, buddy? Uh, not bad, what's up? How about, you're not dead. No. So you lied to us. No, I didn't. I said I would basically I have to go to sleep because I have to basically get up early tomorrow. Basically. So you're, 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 a, you're a whining bitch, is that what you're trying to say? Yeah, I'm a lying bitch. Okay, so you've had how long off, and all of a sudden you're going to work, so you're crying about how much you have to sleep. No, I didn't say I was going to work. I have to get up early in the morning. Oh, I see. So dark, dark, old, old Drexel here has to get up real damn early, and you're crying because you have to get up one day in the week. No, I'm not. Okay, well, never mind. You gonna have? Yeah, I got a gross hospital story for us, or what? No. Lies. Lies. That's right. <laughs> Nothing but lies. See your eyes twitching. I can that's see. That's right. I will talk to you guys later. That's it. Yep, that's it. You're bitching us out. Yep, I am. Okay, you're not gonna give us give us a what the hell. What the hell? All right. Fucker. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we tried. We tried. We tried. Was he pissed? No, he's he not pissed. He just doesn't. Yeah, he was. Okay. Okay. Here we he go. He was pissed. Uh, Shade, Shade is going to fill in for Dax this week, and this with a gross story, not necessarily not hospital. hospital. I'm sure you can, you have some hospital stories, but this one's five, four, four, one, yeah, three. Most, most of my hospital stories aren't aren't That's gross so much as me just getting way too many drugs <laughs> for whatever I was on. Um, 
I don't know if people so much want to hear about this, though, because it, it involves my bodily functions. Oh, sure. Okay. Uh, actually, this is kind of hospital-related because I did end up in emergency for dehydration. Uh, I was... Uh, I guess I just got I got food poisoning off a chili cheese dog or something, because that was the only thing I ate, and I was I was puking my guts out, and then, well, the diarrhea kicked in to be perfectly blunt, and um, what ended up happening was uh, I thought it was all done. I thought I had finished puking. I thought I had finished taking a shit. So I'm lying in bed, and I'm just about uh, just about falling asleep, and then all of a sudden I feel this feeling of utter and complete panic. So, I run for the bathroom. Well, the toilet and the surrounding bathroom area smells so bad that I can't... I, I figure I'm going to puke if I inhale. So, so I puke. <laughs> and, and then he inhaled. But, but I puked after I had already shit. <laughs> Hadn't had a chance to flush the toilet. So I had to puke again, but I wanted to puke in a less smelly place. So I leaned over to the bathtub. Which would have been great, except, um, well, I wasn't wearing anything <laughs> because, you know, I had my pants around my ankles. And I guess the force of me puking uh, <laughs> kind of kind of shot her out both ends. So, okay, okay, if you will envision the east wall of the bathroom covered in puke and the west wall of the bathroom covered in diarrhea. This is a great story. We'll and that's stop. it. That's we'll my stop. gross story. Don't ever share with me again. <laughs> okay, what was that guy's name? Shadow Stalker? Dream Stalker. Dream Stalker? Why would we call Minnesota? Why would we call him in Minneapolis, actually, in Minnesota, where you live right now? Oh, How did oh, we know oh, that? Oh. Can we call it <laughs> Collect? <laughs> okay, we're going to call it Collect and yeah. say Dream Stalker told me to phone. Okay, we have to go back. I hope to, your mom doesn't back. answer. Okay. Uh, we're gonna finger you. If uh, we're fingering you right now, look into the camera. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> who's who's bastard bitch? Some bastard bitch. It's a bitch bastard. It's Joe. Bastard bitch. It's Joe. Min Minneapolis. It's Joe. PSI net. Yoda three four five. Well, you, his name's Joe maybe. <laughs> hey Joe, what do you know? Okay. It's not his phone number. It's not his phone number. It's not his phone number. What's the number that they call? Uh, it is 612. So we call what first? Zero. One, six, one, two. Why doesn't he just call no. us? That's, no. that's the longest. Zero. Oh, 612. Yeah. Uh, four, five, four, four, one, three, one, six. One, three, one, six. And Dream Stalker. And that should be one, one. One, one. One, one. Yeah. One, one. Yeah, one call was not completed. Please hang up and try your call later. Fucker. Fucker. Just oh, well. call us. Why the hell are we calling you? <laughs> no, we're it's not, not calling him. Yet. He said it's somebody else's number. It's time for the... the uh, somebody else in Minneapolis. It's time for the movie. On Central time. Movie man. Before it gets too late. Movie Does he always man. Cries anyway? He cries. We're going to interrupt him watching a movie. <laughs> you guys music reviewers. Like those answers. Can't come to the phone right now, but if you leave a message, we'll get back to you as soon as we can. We fired him last week. You're you still suck. fired. You You're suck. You're, You're still, still fired. fired. Jeez, what's going on? Two cop outs. Um, okay, everybody out there. Stamp okay, your money. it's time to stamp your money. So get out all your bills. Your, your We're stamp. gonna get out all our bills here. If you grab the stamp on the table there, Shade. <laughs> yep, we got a stamp for Rant Radio. I didn't fix it. It's all jagged. I didn't like. I didn't like what Chicken did to it. Actually, it's the original Pure Rhythm stamp. Um, actually, I have no cash, so I won't be stamping mine. But everyone out there, get out their cash. This is illegal, so we don't recommend it. Yeah, it's all fucked up. It was like staggered, but I didn't like that. It was going to take up too much room on the bill. Is it illegal to stamp your 
You yes. can't deface money at all. You can't even Spock five. You can't do anything. <laughs> you can't do anything to your money. <laughs> so everyone out there, write www.rantradio.com on their money. Actually, don't write that on your money. <laughs> it's illegal to deface money. You're not going to use a stamp? stamp sucks. It's not even wet. Yeah, it is. It doesn't work? So it's all, the lettering's fucked, man. It doesn't look like WWW. Yeah, it looks like a mess. When I tried to change it, it was a big mess when I was fiddling it in, in my hand. Okay. But, anyways, put www.rantradio.com on your money and tell us if you actually get one back eventually. You can deface money in America, just not allowed to pass it. Pass it on. I guess you just keep your money. Got one what? Really? With rentradio.com written on it? It wasn't my handwriting. Wow. That's awesome. That happened like a long time ago. Yeah, you didn't you you didn't you didn't tell us that. Well, because I remember when I first heard about it, when I would work the graveyard shift at Arco, I would write it on every single $5 bill that I had in the chill. Ah. Just as a note, this was originally my idea. Outside of an IHOP, this was... <laughs> but you don't want credit or anything. <laughs> no, uh, I was I just mentioning credit. it was my idea. Sean K doesn't want credit. Okay, well, let's go down no to another thing that I found. Real headlines. That's correct. In fact, it was I had nothing to do with it. I'd never done exactly. it myself. These are real. Somebody sent this to me. I can't remember who sent it to me because I didn't uh, put a credit here. Uh, these are real headlines from a newspapers, and uh, Shade and I'll go back and forth and say them because everyone else is busy stamping the, stamping the money. You start. Okay. Something went wrong in jet crash. Expert says. <laughs> Police begin campaign to run down jaywalkers. <laughs> Drunk gets nine months in violin case. That's a harsh sentence. <laughs> Iraqi head seeks arms. Is there a ring of debris around Uranus? <laughs> Didn't I just say that? <coughs> Prostitutes appeal to Pope. <laughs> Panda mating fails. Veterinarian takes over. <laughs> <laughs> Include your children when baking cookies. <laughs> Clinton wins on budget, but more lies ahead. <laughs> Plane too close to ground, crash probe told. <laughs> Miners refuse to work after death. <laughs> Juvenile court to try a shooting defendant. Stolen painting found by tree. <laughs> really? Was it stolen? I would fire whoever that security officer was. Two sisters reunited after 18 years at checkout counter. <laughs> <laughs> War dims hope for peace. <laughs> if strike isn't settled quickly, it may last a while. <laughs> Cold wave linked to temperatures. <laughs> <laughs> what is Enfield's c- couple slain? Police suspect homicide. <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh. Red tape holds up new bridges. <laughs> Ooh, great bridges. Typhoon rips through cemetery. Hundreds dead. <laughs> kids make nutritious snacks. Kids make nutritious Hospitals are sued by seven-foot doctors. <laughs> new vaccine may contain rabies. Man struck by lightning faces battery charge. <laughs> Oh, man. I think that one was probably done on purpose. Hey. <laughs> Captain Pike sent me this one. Sim, here's some material for next for your next show. Pick up lines that will get you killed. If you and I were squirrels, bet I could bust a nut. Could I bust a nut in your hole? Mm, these are really bad. Warning. <laughs> I'd like to wrap your legs around my head and wear you like a feed bag. <laughs> if it's true that we are... We are what we eat. I could be you by morning. Oh. Oh. How do you like your eggs? Poached, scrambled, or fertilized? That's just... That's not going to get you killed. That's oh, just going to oh, get can you... Can I do the next one? <laughs> I was about to go masturbate, and I needed the name to go with your face. Oh. <laughs> My love for you is like diarrhea. I just can't hold it in. <laughs> Roses are red. Violets are blue. I like spaghetti. Hey, let's go fuck. Let's go fuck. <laughs> Is that a keg in your pants? Because I would love to tap that ass. (laughs) (laughs) 
If your right leg was Thanksgiving and your left leg was Christmas, <laughs> could I meet you between the holidays? I've heard that one before. You remind me of a championship bass. I don't know whether to mount you or eat you. Your, your parents, parents must be retarded, retarded because you are special. <laughs> <laughs> Can I touch your belly button from the inside? <laughs> I'm not too good at algebra, but doesn't you and I equal 69? That's poor. You plus I. How about we play lion and lion tamer? You hold your mouth open and I'll put my head in. Okay, however, That's my poor. original pickup line is still best. What does tight ropes, your blood, and my semen have in common? You and I in about an hour. <laughs> I, I, I've got that one that uh, my, I, I have a friend from Victoria who gave me this pickup line. I just gotta think what it is. Really your friend Donnie? Yeah, my friend Donnie. Uh, <laughs> but I, I have to make sure I have to make sure I don't get it wrong here. What is it? Uh, fuck me if I'm wrong, but isn't your name Frank? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, next week, when my if uh, my wife is not here, I will tell you the most disgusting joke in the world. <laughs> She's already heard it, so tell it to all of us. This is really disgusting. <laughs> okay. Prepare one and all. Go to the IRC because I want to. I want to get people's reaction. To okay. This. To give you a background on this voodoo. joke, I got this joke. I spent three years in the army, and I got this joke from a mechanic. Okay, and I have never heard another joke which would come close to this joke. This is the most disgusting joke I've ever heard. I can't even remember the joke I tried to compete with him with, but I was in a movie lineup going to see Later, like maybe. a PG-13 movie, and he tells me this joke in like a loud, overbearing tone. Okay? And I'm like, oh my god. This will probably be the last time I hey, ever tell this. Are you implying that personnel in the Oh yes. Okay, so this is the uh, this is the most disgusting. Joke. <laughs> okay. Yes, yes. It's You've all established right. that. Okay, so there's this chick and she's got this large cyst in her cunt, right? And it's all like scabbing and infected and scabbing over, and it's just creating this big scab over an entire box. So she's sitting there and she's trying to fucking get off, and she's trying to get herself off, and it's just not working. And her husband is jerking off beside her. There's nothing he can do, and he wants to fuck his wife, but she's all scabbed over because of this cyst. So he's in there and he says, I'm just going to fucking get in there and, and fuck this bitch, but it's not going to happen. So he decides he's going to call a pus sucker to see if he can get all this pus out of there so he can fuck his wife. So he calls this guy in the middle of the night and it's a pus sucker. And he says, listen, man, I need you to go fuck my, to, to clean the pus out of my wife's cunt so that I can fuck her. And he's like, no, man, it's like three in the morning. He's like, I'll pay you three times tomorrow. Just get over here. I, I'm jerking off for half an hour. And he's like, all right, all right, I'll be right over. So he gets over there and he says, oh, this is a really bad situation. So he rips the scab off and takes one of those slurpy straws, cuts the ends of it sharp, and jabs inside the cyst. Starts sucking away, sucking away, spits out three mouthfuls of green pus, and then all of a sudden she farts. <laughs> he leans back and goes, holy shit, lady, what are you trying to do, make me sick? <laughs> 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 and that is the most disgusting joke I have ever heard. A pus sucker. Like, this is a job somebody has. No, I think it's metaphorical, actually. I think that's a keyword for a search in. <laughs> I'm always getting sick from this joke. Oh, yeah. Okay, just go to Google and see what we find on pus space sucking. <laughs> I really that goes all holy am shit. I, am I no, sounding no, naive here? No, I want to see the results of what people say. On pus sucking. That's puss. That's puss sicking. Just, just one S? Just one. And it's, US. And, and it's with a U. Oh, it's just one S. I'm, I know. I wasn't looking. It's going to be like 200,000 hits of porn sites. Blah, blah, blah. Yep. You were right. All <laughs> porn sites. Gross. I like it. Gloom Bunny likes it. It wasn't that gross. Chazbot is gross. Mixed reactions. It wasn't that gross. <laughs> I didn't get it. There was one there. <laughs> okay, now we're going to all find out okay, how long we'll live. Let's all go to the death clock and post in the IRC oh, yeah. I've heard about this thing. how long you will live. Uh, and who was who's willing to take it here? I'll take it. I will. Okay. Drex was the loudest, so <laughs> he oh, will take it. <laughs> date, date of birth. 1972. No, it's it's the only got two letters. Day of birth. Day of birth. Twelve. Okay. They're very precise. June. 72. Oh, if they ask for day of birth. You don't have to change that, actually. It's <laughs> oh, really? Correct. Okay. Male. Mode. Are you pessimistic, sadistic, or normal? Pretty pessimistic. I'm, uh, I'm an optimistic pessimist. 
He's yeah, pessimistic. I'd say pessimistic. Yeah. Well, this, your check your death clock. You have 961 million seconds to live. Wait, wait, wait. March 14th, 2030. So when you can't send that to me, can you? This I can send the page. No, but, but I need it. this. Are you, are you, you need what? This picture? I need that little guy. What do we call it with this? The count down the seconds, man. He wants his clock. I can't. I like, send oh, you the page and resend it in again, retard. Yeah, uh, but it won't come out the same. It'll, it'll give well. me a different prediction. No, it won't. Oh, there we go. I can. I can send it. There we go. And we go to Drexel. And we send that off. There's your death clock. And you can have that running on your desktop. Yay! Okay, anyway, so, uh... Don't let's see the rest of this. It keeps saying, don't show again. Even when okay. you say, don't ever show me again. That's right. March. I love that. What's the point of March 14th, 2030. So, make, make plans now. How old will you be? How old will you be? Not very old. Not very old. Yes. So I can so I can properly plan my Teddy Ruxpin funeral. Can, can we do me? Yes. yes uh, let's let's maybe I'll die let's do fighting. No, they let's do they, shade. Date of birth? I'll kill myself. July seventeenth. July seventeenth. I went to a much more detailed site than this. I can't, can't remember the damn URL now. It was seventy-four. Uh, I think I, I think it had me living on until about twenty fifty. Although one of, one of the most likely reasons for my death was loneliness. <laughs> Is it what? Uh, it no, gave no, me the no, statistics. I should, I should trace nothing. down that URL and give it to so you guys. So 2030. Next week, yeah, but it did. Really why are you by 18 years? <laughs> they told you why? I'll come to well, yeah, it was a much more detailed. This one's not as good. All these questionnaires. It's a different. It's a different URL. I'll, what I'll do is I'll tr I'll find the URL. This has like one question. Next week. Yeah. Do mine. Do mine. Well, let's see. You're not going right, to do so let's, well. Let's, let's Sadistic. Date of birth. Day of birth. Day of birth. Uh, six. Of. April. Oh, the Andersons were in stereo. <laughs> There we go. 2010. <laughs> Whoa, 2010. <laughs> 11 years. 11 years. Yeah, All that damn mountain biking, Derek. And it's counting down the seconds a lot quicker than mine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> damn. <laughs> like, really, that's not seconds. Yeah. That's like... Uber oh, seconds. Split seconds. It's not very nice of it. It's probably yeah, right. Renew! So that's probably a little optimistic. Renew! Renew. Did I get that joke? Brian, you should have got that joke. But they've got head swapping operations now, so we're all okay. No, yeah, you can. All we need to know is, all we need is somebody to donate their body because they want to die. That's right. Sure. Are you kidding? I could find so many people like that. Are you kidding? I could find <laughs> you so many people. Would like you that. want their bodies, Derek? Well, as long as I get to them before they do something really stupid. Find, find an ex-girlfriend. Your head on Amy's body. Oh, that would be great. <laughs> Captain. Yeah. You play head games with you, you, yeah, you, 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 you. He'd never leave the house. He spent all his time shoving stuff up his own ass. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Cap Captain Howdy sent this in to me. Scientists for Health Canada suggested that men should take a look at their beer consumption, considering the results of a recent analysis that revealed the presence of female hormones in beer. The, th uh. the theory is that drinking beer makes men turn into women. To test the finding, 100 men, 100 men were fed six pints of beer each. It was then observed that 100% of the men gained weight, talked excessively without making sense, became overly emotional, couldn't drive, failed to think rationally, argued over nothing, and refused to apologize when wrong. No further testing is planned. Captain Howdy? Fuck you, Captain Howdy. <laughs> Howdy, you know where that's from? Yes, I know where that's from. You do? That's from the, well, it's from one place. It's from a movie. It's, it's that from was, The Exorcist, the original. Yeah. It's from The Exorcist. It was also, it's also from a Twisted Sister yeah, song that's based where I was on, thinking. yeah, yeah. It, that's based on the Captain movie. Captain Howdy is from, it's based on. And I, then the guy I've from Twisted Sister was Captain, Captain Howdy. Oh, yeah. Twisted Sister, the guy from Twisted Sister was Captain Howdy in that. Yes. Weird movie. Yes, which and he did a song called "Stay Away" from Captain Howdy, yeah. and he was talking about the movie The Exorcist in the song. Th that's good information for me because I've never seen The Exorcist. So. Oh, oh, it's you gotta George see it. C. Scott died on Wednesday. He was seventy-one. Yep. Who is bastard? I gotta bitch. feel really bad because he actually kicked major ass. So. I know that's the stupidest thing you can possibly say. No one will ever believe you. What did he say? What did he I say? Read the Exorcist. Much better book. I read the Exorcist. <laughs> so what? Most books are better than the movie. Much better book than oh, shit. 
Oh, you don't depends. want to. Read. It depends. If you saw the movie first, then the then the book sucks. And if you read the book first, then no. the movie sucks. No, usually the book is like saw, amazing saw, over yeah, movies. Think. Yeah. Not just, okay, here's what this person is physically doing now. You have no idea what the fuck they're thinking yeah, except by how they act. That's right. Not always. Unless it's a like, book based on the movie. Like like yeah, said, like books based on, book based on, books based on the movie that. suck, you like, usually. It's the original Your that's uh, always better. <laughs> Your mind doesn't have a budget. <laughs> so... If my, if my mind had a budget, I'd probably embezzle it. <laughs> hey, we can do call-ins now, can't we? Uh, yeah, it's time for, uh, it's time for call-ins. Um, so everyone out there, uh, think up uh, <laughs> stories that... Is uh, Sean leaving? Sean no. He has to put on his tricorder pack to uh, check his laundry. Yeah. Can't be. Gets I need to know what area code 213 is. <laughs> He's going to wave his little tricorder sensor over the, uh, over the dryer to see if, it's, uh, if, it, if the contents are dry without actually having to open the door like us mere mortals. Shame, man. She, dare you see you rock your bitches. Is this guy Bastard like completely drunk? drunk. Who is Bastard Bitch? <laughs> That's what I've been asking! Well, let's take a look who Bastard Bitch, where they're connected from. And uh, bctel.ca. So. Oh, they're local. Someone local. And let's go they, kick his ass. they logged in through the, the webpage so we can't get much more information. Damn. <laughs> it's time for call-ins, and the phone number is one. Well, I'll, I'll let this do it. It's time to open the phone lines on what the hell. Call now, toll free, 1-604-533-9191. Call in, call in, call in right now. All right, call in, oh, call in right now. It's 1-604-533-9191. Toll free, toll for you, free for us. <laughs> There's a new phone number, Voodoo Bulls. Better than Vo new phone number for Voodoo. Oh, we're not going to phone any of those. They have to phone us. So it's about nine, ten cents a minute, maybe. I mean, if you're already on the internet. Ten, ten, three. Even less if you have a blue box. Ten, ten, three, Bastard two, one. Bastard bitch. We ten, can't. Ten. We we can't uh, figure out who you are just from your name. Nor, nor do we particularly care. But <laughs> nor do we particularly care. We don't it could care. Be, it, could be, it, could be, uh, it could be, what's his name? Leo the Lion. It's Brad Thiessen. Leo? Leo? Leo Is it Leo? Oh, I guess. Would Leo know about this? I guess. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> he could. Okay, it's Leo the Lion. Uh, so phone in right now. It's very, very cheap. Like, if you stayed oh. on for 10 minutes, which we wouldn't allow you to, it would be a whole <laughs> dollar. Oh, a no, whole dollar. <laughs> You Leo, cheap Leo bastards. Call Shut the you fuck up. Call you're, collect. You're welcome to call collect. We'll hear, you have a call from, and we'll hang up. <laughs> That'll be great. We'll be able to hear your name anyways. Yeah. So if you want to call collect, go for that. What? I can't call. Why can't you call? You did your call last week. Fat. Because she's connected by the phone she has to get off. Oh, oh muffin. muffin. That's Meow. horrible. Meow. She was also bitching last week not having a calling card. Oh, she was bitching last week. Muffin. I don't have nothing to say. I want to go. Bye, GT Bastard. Oh, GT call. Bastard's probably going to phone us. <laughs> as, long so, as, you, uh, as long as you have something to say. Oh, so everyone out there also <laughs> listening, uh, uh, spam all your friends with, uh, with the show. Uh, make them listen. Spam. Actually, do so it the next number week. was 1 604 Yeah, I should post it. That's probably why they're not phoning, because they're like, what did that promo say? Fuck. What is wrong with me? There. <laughs> There's the real phone number. Senku, sir. See? See, they didn't know what's going on. I'm trying to listen to that horrible country la, music. La, la. Um, we're going to play the third rant, rate, uh, what the hell song until somebody phones. <laughs> and it's un Uncle Salty's Cabin. With <laughs> It's a great name, huh? And the song's called, amazingly, what the hell? 
Call Rant Radio now at 1-800-438-7546 for this month's contest. Hammer, tell them what they can win. You get a limited edition gold-plated signed Rant Radio sign and a special limited edition gold-plated signed Rant Radio CD with original Rant Radio material, which you know and love. This month's question is, who burnt Bula Bula's car? <laughs> Hello, caller number one, what's your answer? Is it the ringleader, Chris King? Not this time. Caller number two. Because my cousin is East. He slept with my wife too, the bastard. I don't know what you said, but that's the wrong answer. Caller number three. Oh, hey, uh, is this the uh, drug crisis line? I was wondering if I could maybe get some drugs. Yes, but call Anki on the other line. Caller number four. Is it Glenn Clark? No, I'm sorry, that's the wrong answer. Caller number five. I know they're all burst from the Scarlet Core of Babylon. I think it's the Turks. Those curly shoot bastards, we think it's the Turks too. You win the CD. <laughs> Please stay in the line. We'll take your name and number off air. No Turks were harmed in the making of this contest. <laughs> Goes down easier than your mom. Where's my fucking cable? I've been paying you slut fucking assholes all along, and I got no fucking TV. Jesus fucking Christ, what the fuck do you want for fuck off? I've been phoning all these goddamn cock-sucking fucking numbers you got in this fucking phone book, and they're all busy. Well, my cable's fucked, and you're gonna hear from me anyway! You bunch of goddamn cock-sucking fucking bastards! I don't wanna sound fuck off. I wanna watch fucking TV. You cock-sucking fucking hooters, you got all these fucking numbers in the goddamn cock-sucking fucking phone book, and they're all fucking busy. I'm a working man, I pay your cock-sucking fucking bill. Why in the name of Jesus goddamn cock-sucking fucking Christ can you not supply me the goddamn motherfucking orange slut fucking goddamn cock-sucking fucking service?
you dogan faced motherfucking cock sucking whore and slut goddamn by the Jesus fucking goddamn slut fucking bastard. Where's the fucking cable? Paying for the fucking shit and I ain't fucking getting it. Get out of there, you bunch of fucking bastards. Can't watch Automake with his fucking TV. Where's the service, you bunch of goddamn cocksucking fucking bastards? I hate paying for something I don't have. I cannot watch your Automag magazine if I do not have the service. I've been phoning all the other numbers that's been ringing busy. This is the only number I've been able to get a ring from. So where's the cock fucking goddamn orange button by the Jesus fucking service? Me again, motherfuckers. I have no fucking cable. You bunch of goddamn whore and slut fucking overpaid cocksuckers are doing fuck all for what I'm paying you. Jesus Christ, you ought to try do what I do for a fucking living. Hello, motherfuckers. My cable's back on. Thank you very much. Rent Radio is proud to be on the Radio Free Broadcast Council and committed to upholding the highest Radio Free standards. If you have a comment about our broadcast, eat shit and die. We're on the council, not you. <laughs> Rent Radio, we're here for you. It won't print. Still won't print? Still won't print. It won't, it won't print. print. Jiggle the cable. I jiggled. I'll jiggle again. That's the light. That's the light? That's the light. It won't print. It won't print. It won't print. What's the problem with the printer? It won't print. Can you print? It's not the printer. It's the computers. Hadley downloaded a virus off the web. Hadley. IBM protects your network. Commercial, not the Labatt's commercial. Which which Labatt's commercial? Labatt's commercial with the, with the guy with the bear suit on. It's that good. It's, it's so it's so awesome. Yeah, guy, has, okay, the... guy has like a Labatt's commercial. Like Labatt's commercial comes up. It doesn't say anything about Labatt's. It's just a guy yeah. in a bear suit, and somebody sprays him with red spray paint in his chest, and he's like, ah. Oh, that's not coming out. I guess it's Canadian commercial then. Yeah, he's, that's not coming out. Uh, and he goes and sits at the bar, and this chick sits down next to him and goes, you know, that, that'll that come out with soda water. And she kind of touches him, and he's like, oh. Hey. And uh, he goes, uh, something, something to the effect, she goes, oh, uh, where are you from? And he slides the Labatt's up, and she goes, ooh, Canada. And he's like, oh, hey. Yeah, right. And he goes, uh, that must be nice. And he goes, yeah, it's, that's not bad. And he goes, except i got to sleep on cold, wet rocks. And she goes, I have a water bed. He goes, check, please. <laughs> <laughs> next next end of the commercial, you see him escorting her into a cab. It's awesome. <laughs> I'd just like to mention that during that What the Hell song, Enki was playing air guitar. <laughs> you may have caught it on, on the webcam, but maybe not. <laughs> Times like that that I'm, af- uh, that I'm ashamed of my gene pool. <laughs> Hey, Johnny Wilde was here. Oh, wow. Oh, look, look at the spelling. Johnny Wilde, I think, probably liked the song. <laughs> he used to be a DJ. He was an awesome DJ. Uh, used to be. Used Past to be. Tense. That means you suck now. We so, will be having DJs them. again soon. Really? Yes. There Danger. Right no, there's no DJs right now. Why are we suck. having DJs again soon? Because all the DJs no, no. suck. They wouldn't do their shows. Because they, <laughs> they suck ass. They just show up for what the hell. They just, just show, show for what the, the hell. hell. Listen to our show because we kick ass and we do it all the time and we're always here. <laughs> always. Always. When we go away, we have replacement DJs. <laughs> That's right. That's right. We are prepared. Bob, tell them about the cop story that you told us in the van. That oh, was just hilarious. Story. That was good. Yeah, I'm not. A, I'm not generally a violent you person. This before, didn't you? I'm, I, I, no, I, not generally. I'm not a generally a violent person. One day, I had a fairly, I guess, anxious day because I was on a route that I didn't particularly like. Because it was it was horrendously stupid. Like if you could cut a route up any more. <laughs> Uh, like what the hell? Anyway, um, so what was this? A bunch of Chinese guys? Oh, 
the anyway, bears with a bunch Lord of Harris, Chinese knows guys. the one I'm talking about. You know the one I'm talking about. Buddy. <laughs> it's with you, a bunch of Chinese guys? You're down with OPP. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway. Gloom. So anyway, um, I'm driving along down Granville. I've got a delivery to go to Jordan's Carpets. There's a foxy chicken going to Jordan's Carpets anyway. Mm-hmm. So, so you looking, really want to get really there. I really want to go to Jordan's Carpets and drop this letter off and say, hey, how's it going, Jennifer? Um, <gasps> you revealed her net. <laughs> See, I, I, in my, in my wisdom, I quickly blurted out. That's what the I'm phone wondering. is not working. Wait, I, I know what happened. I didn't do this. Look, the phone is operational. I will call one six zero four five three three nine one nine one. No, it's five three three nine one nine one. Five three three nine one nine one. So anyway, I'm driving down gravel. I've loaded the bears in a van that's not mine. It's a GMC 97. 97, it's an extended. So it's like driving a cube van, except it's a normal van. So you got to turn, like, way, way, way late. So, Sean, how's the Sean's wifey? gone. Sean left. Sean's gone, man. Sean's way gone. You're way behind. You're way, like you're way slow. Ago. Have you got, like, a really bad lag or look at, something? Look, yeah, at the, look at the web, it, look at the he webcam. He's on a dial-up modem, so, and, and, and we, we won't cry for him. Is that actually you, Johnny Wild? Johnny Wild. Johnny Wild. It's Johnny Wild. Johnny Wild. Johnny Wild. He had a better So anyway, rate. I'm going along with, I'm fucking booking along. And I'm, I'm following, I'm following this stupid cop a couple, like, a car and a half distance away, just like everyone else is. I'm not dang, I'm not trying to be different. I'm not hugging this guy's ass. And he keeps, I can see, he keeps looking in his rearview mirror. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay, he's like checking me out. He thinks I'm hot because everybody <laughs> does. So, um, flying along, do 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 do, and we're coming up like down on down like down by Granville and Broadway. There's a whole bunch of crosswalks that just like flip flop across the street. Yeah, because uh, that's where usually crosswalks go. Anyway, <laughs> across um, the street. So this cocksucker gets up to about sixty. So I'm guess what I'm I'm doing a car and a half distance. I'm up to about 59, 62. 61. 59, 59 62. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> The cocksucker slams on his brakes for no particular reason. There's no one in the crosswalk. He just slams on his brakes. Now, these are ABS <laughs> brakes in this van, and I'm not particularly used to ABS brakes, as it is quite apparent as I came within inches of his car, <laughs> frightening him more than frightening me, because uh, I knew I wasn't going to hit him because I locked up. Anyway, he gets out of his vehicle and completely flips on me. What the fuck? You almost fucking hit me up. Fucking close to your gun. Was the cop swearing? I, well, yeah, I, I screamed at him. Like, I wasn't screaming at him because he was a cop. I was screaming at him because he's a fucking asshole. I'm going, <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Why are you stopping here? Why? And he's like, don't scream at me. Just pull over to the side of the road. I want to talk to you. And I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> so I quickly jump in the van again, and I turn to the right as we go down some side street, which happens to be a no-stopping zone because it's a fire zone where the fire yeah. engines come flying out. <laughs> so he stops there and puts on his blinkers, and I drive past him. I'm not going to stop there. The cops are the, Not only am I going to be in shit with the cops, now the firemen are going to come out and go, you guys can't stop here. Sean actually, uh, Sean was telling me they intentionally put that stopping zone there because he used to stop there all the time. So I'm not going to get him in shit either. So anyway, I'm thinking ahead. So anyway, I jump in and I fly past this guy. So he gets all pissed off. He turns his lights on and comes after me. <laughs> I only go like two car lengths past him. <laughs> pull over, and now he's all like, Mr. Hot and Heavy, look how big my cock is as he flops it out in my hood. Anyway, so I'm like, oh, well, you're a big cop. Any, ooh. So he jumps out of the car. He's like, do you know how close you came to hitting me? I go, well, I didn't hit you. That doesn't matter. You were on my ass like for free blocks. I'm like, you were watching me for two of those blocks. Why did you stop? Why did you stop in the crosswalk? There was no one in the crosswalk. Why did you slam your brakes on? <laughs> I'm asking the questions here. <laughs> and he's got his glasses on. I've got my glasses on. Fucking, he freaks out. He's just flipping. And I start getting angry at this man. He's not only stupid, now he's being belligerent. Not only is he being belligerent, he's swearing at me. He's using massive amounts of profanity. What the fuck were you thinking? How come you're going so fucking close to my fucking car? Do you know if you hit me, how many fucking hours of paperwork? Seven hours of fucking paperwork I would have had. He goes, I could give you a ticket for $200 right now and three points. I'm like, are you going to give me a ticket? Are you going to give me a ticket? And he wouldn't answer me for like three, four, five. He keeps going off. Oh, do you realize what kind of... It's assholes like you that are always calling fucking you. Blah, blah, blah. About fucking... Uh, like, he's telling me about all his problems. 
I'm not a therapist. I don't care. Sounds like a personal... Look at my caring face. He takes his sunglasses off. So I whip mine off in the Starsky and Hutch style. Right? <laughs> go, go, but wow, wow, wow. Anyway, so... It says it's busy still. It says it's busy? Wait a second. No, it's, it's not, not busy. busy. One six zero four five three three nine one nine one. There's the there's a the number. <laughs> the buh sound is awesome. So, so, anyway, buh. Buh. so anyway, <laughs> so he goes. He's like going off, and he keeps threatening me with this. Oh, I'm gonna give you a two hundred dollar fine and three points on your license. And he goes, and I'm gonna call your boss. So I come back with, I am the boss. <laughs> I'll call your company that you work for. It's a contract. I'll get you fired. Um, we're a union. Contract. <laughs> or union <laughs> oh he's just getting more and more pissed off and there's nothing he can do because I haven't hit him he can give me and he's giving me a verbal warning I'm listening to him so I'm not like if you're a, if you're belligerent to a cop and like they knock on your window and you're like oh, I'm not paying attention to you I'm listening la 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 la, <laughs> la 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 so he's like just going off going off he keeps flipping out and I so are, I keep asking, are you gonna give me a ticket? Are you giving, I have I have a job to do here. You're hanging my day up. You're fucking my day up. So any so, so any dumpsters jump out at me. Fuck you, Leo. Fuck you. I was doing like five, five, <laughs> five, five kilometers pulling away. Oh, let me let me let me reiterate that. Who who said, uh, Leo? I don't have a license. I shouldn't be driving. Oh, muffin. So anyway, this guy's like. No, I'm gonna give you a ticket. Are you gonna give me a ticket? Are you gonna you're gonna give me a ticket, right? Are you gonna start writing it out? No, I'm giving you. A and I, so I just fucking walked away, got in the van, started up, and drove away. <laughs> Fuck him. Well, what is he gonna do, right? What's he gonna do? Pull me over again? <laughs> mm. For pulling away. Mm. Mm. For you were. <laughs> Fuck you too. Fuck you too. <laughs> you can't even spell. Can bitch, bar, bitch, bastard is a double negative. Just for the people, do the bar. You're a hermaphrodite. Nice. That's what your problem is. Bah! Bitch, bastard. Do the bar. <laughs> So we're going to play the <laughs> rodeo, song rodeo song in the vein of the Angry Cable Man. Grant Radio, the crunchiest sounds on the net. Hi there, this is Dirty Promo Girl. If you have a problem with Rant Radio's content, fuck you. Once I was the king of Spain, now I eat humble pie.
There we go. We have a caller. Somebody has made their way through the long distance phone lines, and it's. Um, and who is it again? It's Voodoo Glow Skull. Voodoo Glow Skull. Thank you for phoning. Didn't and you, you like leave? Did you come back? No, I'm here. <laughs> He's still but here. But didn't you like say Ooh. I'm leaving now? Bye. Yeah, uh, I decided not to leave. Ah. <laughs> we were so engaging it that he does. just couldn't leave the show. So, uh, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing great. And uh, where are you phoning from? Ohio. Ohio. Woohoo, Ohio. Holy crap. Somebody put that on the on that, the that IRC like, already. That was typed up before you said Ohio. Yeah, that was typed up. Wow. Um, do you know Paco? Do you know Paco? No, I don't. He's from Tessie. Oh. Daddy. Hey, Paco. Up north. So what, uh, what'd you do today? Uh... Took a shit. Yeah? <laughs> Pretty busy then. Yeah. <laughs> so what'd you call about? Nothing in general. Just... Oh, no! Our one caller, you hung up on him. Well, he had nothing to say. What are we... <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even get out. What the hell? <laughs> oh. That's what you should say. When, when I say, what did you call about? If what you were calling about was nothing, just say, what the hell? <laughs> Instead of nothing. Because we're going to hang up. <laughs> Gloom Bunny has messaged me here. Okay, I tried to call in like 10 times, and it kept saying busy, 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 so I came back on. There's something... Well, that must be a problem on your end. <laughs> Our phone lines are fine. He had yeah. something to say. Well, phone back. It's, it's blame I Drex. Something to say. Hey, it's okay to say. It's, it's okay for you to call back as long as you have something to say. Otherwise, we'll hang up on you again. I'm going to try and call. Okay, Gloom Buddy, give it a try. It's a race. Can Voodoo Glow Skull dun, dun, call back before dun, 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 Gloom Bunny gets in? Dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, We're going to play some music pants. until somebody phones in. And it's, they're coming to take me away. Ha ha. Hello, you're on Rent Radio. Who is this? This is a uh, bastard bitch. Bastard bitch. Hello, bastard bitch. <laughs> I thought we weren't. Uh, I thought we weren't worth uh, having uh, called. <laughs> did he say that before? Yeah, he did. Oh, actually, that was another typer. Right. S sir, you'll have to turn down your radio. <laughs> I can hear us in the background there. Uh, I was going to. I was going to a party. Ah. Uh. You're too old to go to parties. <laughs> I've had too many beers, that's why. You're too old to go to parties. Uh, they just begin at 40, man. Don't don't, don't you have to take your Geritol? <laughs> no, as soon as I take my butt plug out. Okay. Oh. oh. Then, then you you're... remember. Where's that chain meister? Who do you think you're talking to? I heard he was uh, chasing cops. Chasing cops? No, I was, I was getting rid of cops. Oh, I see. I've seen you drive, buddy. You're a lunatic on the road. Well, I I, I, choose, I choose my, my ah, roads wisely. I see you shooting transvestites on Richard Street with a pistol. Yeah, so? <laughs> you yeah. deserved it. You're nuts. <laughs> <laughs> so is this long distance? It's always long distance on my cell phone. Uh -huh. Lies. Oh, nothing but lies. <laughs> we, we're, we're, from the, we're from the Burb Street, man. There's only one line in this house. <laughs> yeah. Danger. How come we can hear the... Talking in the country. How come we can hear the radio in the background? Couple of okay. Well, that's you guys. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know that kind of like double a... buzz back oh. sound we get when I talk. I can hear my voice about two seconds later. Well, what about the rest of the people on here? 
<laughs> we're, we're listening to us. I know, but in the for past. me, it's like taking about another twenty minutes. It's quite, it's quite <laughs> obvious. It's quite obvious you're completely blitzed. So, what, what did you call about? Huh? What did you call about? Because no one will phone you guys. Cause you're losers. No, there's something wrong with the long distance tonight. Everybody's trying to phone. All right. So, so you were just calling for our benefit? Are, are you going to give us a what the hell? I felt sorry for you guys. I thought I'd <laughs> okay, but time and phone in. If that's all you called for, we, we're not really getting any any benefit from you calling. Is there Bob, any other reason? I don't see Dreamstock. Is, is there any other reason for you to call? and whoever these other losers are phoning. <laughs> oh, oh, fail. Oh, now he can sit by his radio and listen to us hang up on him. <laughs> Look, somebody has taken the time to log into our IRC and listen to us and come in and says Rant sucks. Isn't that nice of them? If Rant They've sucks, take... get the hell away! Yeah, if you... There's his IP, I'll be back in a second. <laughs> watch, <laughs> wa watch as your system goes down. Aw, oh, oh, we have power. <laughs> don't accept any incoming URLs. How, how, much, how much megabits of bandwidth do we have? Nine? Ten? Oh, wait, well, more, more than that. Well, I'm allowed to use six, but we're on we like... 55. <laughs> 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 and I got a 100 megabit um, uh, network card in there, and it's a 100 megabit network. So, yeah, lots. Lots and lots. And lots and lots and lots. <laughs> See, when people start... When, when, peop oh, go. when people start bitching how badly we suck, it's kind of like... When you know we're good. It's kind of like when you're in grade school, and you were calling that fat kid... Stupid. <laughs> you really like him. You really liked him. Actually, you thought, he, thought was cool. he was sexy. You, you ended up going out with him later. <laughs> and you're like pulling his we hair. We all know you're a pillow biter now. So <laughs> you suck. Oh. That means I love you. Mode plus B. No, we don't want to kick him off. We want we want wholesome debate back yeah. and forth. Well, Tell us why well, we suck. You know, how about <laughs> a three, topic? Three whole listeners. Thank God you configured for 300. Three. Look how many people are in the IRC, you idiot. Can you count? Fuck. <laughs> Hi, you're on Rant Radio. Who is this? Yeah, this is Bastard Bitch. You know Desmond's grandfather? <laughs> the guy that hung up on you? Des Desmond's grandfather? Yeah. Later, man. Remember me. Tell us why we suck. I'm from the Ozark. Actually, you guys aren't that bad, actually. You're pretty good. We're pretty good. Holy turn down your radio. It's like crazy there. Oh, is it loud? It's very loud. loud. It's like as loud as you. Oh, shit. That way they can hear it in the other end of the house? <laughs> yep. G Baz is going to tell us why Rant sucks. We're going to get some some constructive criticism. Actually, and you guys are doing a good job. Up Keep it up. Thanks. We're going to upgrade our upgrade our broadcast uh, on on behalf of Baz. Yeah. Tell us. And you, you play you faggy ass music. You pretend to be cool and ranty? Well, I'm I'm wow, Baz. I'm we're going to base our uh, radio uh, station, uh, what we do on our station... Based on what you want us to do, yeah, because just you, because we care. We cater to you specifically. <laughs> Let's hear some ranting. Awesome. Get... I want one of those T-shirts. Okay, we rant home. on our okay. time, not yours. Soon Fuck as, you. As soon as we get those T-shirts, we'll put up what the contest is about, and we'll announce it. Um, right now, it stands: if you shave rant radio in your head, or you get a real rant radio. The, the, um, what it stands at is: if you do something cool enough, and we think that it, it's cool, we'll give you a T-shirt. And if we don't think ass. it's cool, then you can, yeah, bite my ass. Yeah, if you put something up in a big building and you get it in the newspaper, okay, or the rest of my family is getting mad because they think this show is really crazy. <laughs> so I gotta hang up originality. on you now. Okay. Okay. Say what the oh, hell? They kill me. Say what the hell? What the hell? <laughs> All right. <laughs> More rant, less faggy music. Well, we're uh, talking right now. That's uh. funny. Do you know the terrible thing that, that you actually realize it's faggy music, which means you're listening to it? Wait, which... you're listening to this faggy music. <laughs> oh, that, over I guess that, that refers to you as well, a faggy listener. Tell us what you listen to. Okay, so we... what? how does this work? If you have if you have an apostrophe in front of your name, that means you don't like Rant Radio? Is that the <laughs> Is standard? That, that's the standard now? Is that team apostrophe? <laughs> so if I, if I just put uh, ban anyone with an apostrophe in front of their name, we won't get any people complaining about Rant Radio? See, wow, got, that's amazing. We've got Bass, Tag, and Fag. <laughs> and they have great names. You know wow. what? They're all the same person. Go team cool guy. Let me just take a look at this and see if they're all the same no, person. Uh, Lord Heresy's fag. He just did it to be cool. Firewall.spinner.com. And 
and oh, the who cares really? Gradius is now known as God. <laughs> Let's hear some ranting. You want to hear some ranting? Okay, we're gonna put on some ranting right now. What? This is Sean K ranting about something. Let's see something. what Sean K is ranting about. See if we can find somebody on about a stupid people. Uh, does he have one on stupid people? Oh, I'm sure he, he does. does. Uh, well, they're all road about rage, stupid people. shootings. How about shootings? That's probably the closest one. Here's one about stupid people. I don't know. It's Sean Kennedy on Rand Radio. Bomb the living bejeepers out of those horses. Sean Kennedy here, and okay, time for another time for something I'm a little bit fuzzy on. Would someone please explain to me what the fuck is going on with all the kids in the state shooting each other? Okay, they're always going on about all oh, the came at the end. It was corn. It was Limp Biscuit. It was all these bands. It was Marilyn Manson. It was all these bands where I was listening to who told me to go kill people. It's not the bands who were telling you these kids to go kill people. And for that matter, they're not telling them to do it right. If corn was responsible, or KMFDM was responsible for the Columbine shooting, what happened? Oh, they wound up killing themselves. Why? No escape plan. Any of you people out there right now listening to the internet because you know it's it's all evil and we're all planning to take over. Make sure you, you scribble the right things on the wall for starters. www.rantradio.com for starters. You can throw some nice stuff up of others about me saying Sean Kennedy's the messiah. Sean Kennedy told me to do this. Sure, pin it on me. I think it'd be great if I managed to cack a couple kids through verbal telepathy. But anyway, the bottom line is, is if you're going to do it, for Christ's sakes, do it the Rant Radio away. Make sure you've got a way out. Make sure you've got an exit plan. You can use the sewers. You don't get a key map from the city archives. They list all the sewers that were ever put down. They list everything. There's all kinds of tunnels and everything. You don't shoot yourself afterwards. And by the way, don't be racial about it. That's dumb racism. What an idiot concept that is. No, 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 no. I have no problem with killing jocks. We could do with a lot less jocks. I mean, what do they really do anyway? It's part of the sports thing? Ugh. There's no real use for it. So if I say you're going to do it, bottom line, be smart, have an escape plan. I mean, come on! Bah ha 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 ha! No ads. So, on, on top you of suck. the fact that you're all stupid and you, you Did it continue work? to cry about oh, he's us gone. not ranting. Oh, he left. No, he got his my, my heart is broken. Poo poo. Poo poo. Oh. Mu- actually, change your nick to muffin because, well, muffin. we really care about you. Oh, bye bye. <laughs> Hi, muffin. muffin. To clarify from Webster's Revised Unabridged Dictionary, rant, high-sounding language without importance or dignity of thought, boisterous, empty declamation, bombast as the rant of fanatics. That's us! Woohoo! <laughs> without thought. <laughs> without dignity of thought. Where's your mic? Canned ranting. You put it down. Canned ranting. What, what do you consider canned ranting? You want us to be live and glitchy and crying and... <laughs> Hey, we, we, we believe in ranting if live, you weren't, but... You if know, you weren't listening, it. Bob was just ranting about the police about 10 there, minutes ago. There you go. Hey, look, don't, I'm not, we're not going to justify Is ourselves. Warthog, Fuck that. Is Warthog a, a we bitch? We to justify ourselves. It's our station. Is Warthog a bitch? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Who cares? Did you notice where we came Lord from? Lord Heresy's having oh. lots of fun. He keeps changing oh. his name to Muffin. Acid? Lord Heresy's Who? my biggest friend. Bye bye Acid. Who? Acid. Acid tag. Did you notice where we came from? As equals spinner.com. Spinner.com. No ads, man. Bye bye. I'm not a fish. I'm a man. Joins acid tag. How do you get back in? Obviously, these people know more than. He's a dump. He's a dump jumper. More than us. There oh. we go. Fish, 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 fish. Oh, you can get rants five for a dollar. <laughs> um, well, it's just about the end of the show now. We've run over our time. Uh, it's 11.17 out here in the I Pacific said, Coast. One thing to add about, I've got about one thing. police. Okay. And, uh, Bob was ranting about them a little bit earlier. And, and you know, there, there's a reason why police are stupid, at least in the States. Uh, there was a case recently. I just read about this last week. I think it was in Boston. Uh, a guy sued to, to get a position on, like, the Boston police force because he was denied the position because he was too smart. Uh, oh, yes. I remember that, yeah. And and they, they decided that his case wasn't valid because he wasn't being discriminated against. <laughs> oh, we've got someone who wants us to but hang as, on and as, keep as going. As a final word on it, the average IQ of an American police officer is about 100. Wow. Average police officer. That's pretty funny there. 
Nice. Hey, who? Uh, hi, you're on Rant Radio. Who is this? It's GK Jackal again. Hey, GK Jackal. What's going on? I don't know. What is going on? There's somebody. Somebody is advertising again. Evil, here. evil people in the channel tonight. I know. They love us so much. They think that we're so important. We have enough listeners that they come. That they to have to come over and try and. They steal have to them. try and steal all of our thousands of <laughs> listeners away. I mean, that that's actually a really good compliment, don't you think? I think it is. Cause I think we need more of them. I think, I think we so. need more of them to, to say, wow, we, Rant Radio is such an amazing station that we have to come and steal the listeners. <laughs> so uh, what do you have to say for tonight? Uh, being sick sucks. I uh, got a sore throat this morning. Yeah. Yep. Uh, that does suck. We, I'm, I'm totally with you, man. Start some kind of campaign to uh, set up some, some kind of blocks at the borderline, stop all the germs from entering our country. <laughs> oh, oh, it's... Uh, you're in the States, right? Yeah. And you think all the diseases are coming from Canada? Oh, no, not Canada. The other way. Yeah. Mexico? Okay, how do I do this? What do you want to do, Drex? Well, oh, Drex you want to get you, you Central? I want Gloom Bunny to call. <laughs> She's having some trouble. Uh, it looks like the long distance lines between her and us are giving some trouble. Poopy. We always have some little glitch every week, and it's I always. AT&T. It's AT&T's fault. I have to leave. You have to leave? Yes. We're like 20 minutes <laughs> past when we normally end I know, the show. I know. But yeah, people are going to... Oh. There's projectile vomit man there by chance. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh-oh. Okay, yes, he is. Come over to the phone, projectile vomit man. No, I'm Jack- afraid. <coughs> He's afraid. <coughs> Jacko uh, wants to talk to you. Can you make some interesting noises instead? <laughs> he doesn't He doesn't do phone sex. <laughs> uh, Unless you pay him two fifty a minute. Two fifty, two dollars and fifty cents a minute. Oh, oh it's, he's and it's got to be American. Two ninety nine American. I want real money. <laughs> That's how much for for phone sex for projectile vomit, man. All right, I'll try to save that up for next time. That's I can, right. I can be had, but I'm not cheap. <laughs> he says he can be had, but he's not cheap. So <laughs> you'll have to wait till next week. Actually, he's probably gonna make his sound when he says bye bye, oh, because like that's it. what we're gonna do right now. Because all these people have to go to bed, and so do I. Get Bula Bula in there next week. <laughs> okay, we'll try. Hey, why not? We will try. It's very difficult See to get later, her out of the house. See you later, bastard bitch. Who's this? Bula Bula. Very difficult to drag her away and okay. get her out of the house. Yeah, great job there. We'll phone her. Hey, Who's if she call? doesn't come, we will phone her. How about that? When's this? Next, Next week. week. Well, Drex won't be here, but we'll do that anyway. How's that? Is that good enough for you? Yeah, that'd be great. Okay, so say what the hell. Uh, happen. Well, you guys are doing a great job, and uh, keep up the good work. Thanks a lot, man. What the hell? All right. Of course, we know we're doing a job, good job. It's nice to have the encouragement. We don't need it, though. True. These people like are coming down on us. No, who it, cares? It's we're just too popular. <laughs> we are. I mean, that totally shows that we are popular. Um, so it's time to. <laughs> <laughs> we're so amazing. We're so amazing. <laughs> but it's time to go again. It's that sad time in the Sunday night that it's. That we have to go and say goodbye to all of our fans. And next week I will have an outro. But for now I do have a little thing that I'm going to play after we say goodbye. So we're going to go around the room as we do uh, every week and say goodbye. There's there's some people left. Oh wow, I'm in like front of the center channel and I can hear myself and hear some feedback. Oh, no feedback. Okay, so this is Project Album at Man. Wow, that was uh, Skittles and M and M's induced. That was uh, brutal. And bye from Drexel, who won't be here next week, and Bob yeah, will be taking about over. That. I'll be off being army. And man. this is Sumerian saying Arrivederci, and let's go to the IRC and say bye bye to everyone. One second, move that over. Uh, DJ Psycho joined us just recently. I just saw his name. And Bastard Bitch and Bug Tosser and Disdainful Gloom Bunny, Dream Stalker, Fly Molo, GK Jackal, Johnny Wild, Mord Sith, Paco, Shaz Bort, hey. The Real Muffin, Voodoo Glow Skull, a whole ton of new Wah. people tonight. It's wicked. So Wah. everyone, Wah. boo! So, say boo. People like, boo. The, the boo. Boo. <laughs> boo. 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 So tell all your friends to listen in next week, and we'll have like. 100% sexy. So this is Sumerian saying bye-bye, and I've got a little thing to, to queue up. If I get the, the little mousey thing. Too slow. Too slow.
And it's... Oh, where is it? Fucking fuck fuck. Fucking fuck fuck fuck. Fucking fuck fuck. It's fuck. in download. download. It's in new. Mm -hmm. It's in alt binaries MP3. Mm -hmm. And it's this. And see you next week. Ha 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 ha. This is Ivan of Russian Republic. I want you to be pleased listening to Rant Radio. Thank you. May I not have my five dollars? Rant Radio goes down easier than your mom. This is Jesus Christ for Rant Radio. Now that Charlton Heston can do my voice, all of my messages will be brought not by the burning bush, but by Rant Radio. Thank you. Further bulletins as events warrant. Hey! Get back up on that cross!